the right thing to do. The package will include assistance to access the school card scheme, a waiver of public hospital costs that would usually apply to Medicare ineligible patients, and free Metro cards. The Adelaide Festival has welcomed one of its biggest ever participants, a three and a half metre tall puppet known as Little Amal. She represents a 10 year old Syrian refugee and has become a global symbol of human rights. Amal's artistic director, Nazia Zouabi, says she sparks conversations and debate. Talking to different audiences, to different kinds of people is part of the idea of this project. It's not for the liberals, it's for everyone. It's for people to meet a young girl, spend some time with her, maybe rethink their position, maybe not, it's okay. Little Amal will walk down Rundle Mall at five o'clock tonight. Aged care workers will receive a pay rise of up to 28% under a decision from the Fair Work Commission. The Commission had already announced a 15% pay rise for 240,000 direct care workers who had historically been among the lower paid in the workforce. It means a personal carer would go from $23.10 an hour to $32.52. Health Services Union's Gerard Hayes says that will attract more people to the industry and help retain them. You'll see aged care now is, is competitive. Uh, with uh, public health and particularly regionally now I think uh, it will attract more people into aged care. As you know that we've got an ageing population over the next 10 to 15 years we are going to need dedicated people. An increasing demand for travel is pushing up the price of flights. Passengers already grappling with exorbitant fees are being told the costs could climb even higher. Centre for Aviation Chief Executive Peter Harbison says it's not looking good for travellers in the short term. You know, there's sort of underlying demand which helps to push fares up. So as long as the airlines don't want to compete and there aren't enough seats, it's a no-brainer really. Jaguar is recalling Land Rover models sold between 2020 and 2024. It's concerned about a faulty oil delivery pipe which could spark a blaze. Affected owners will be contacted and will need to have their vehicle checked over by a local dealer. Now turning to 5AA Sport. The exceptional sale is on at Berkowitz. Save 25 to 50% off all Berkowitz furniture. End soon. Round one in the AFL continues tonight with Collingwood playing Sydney at the MCG. The Crows meet the Suns on the Gold Coast tomorrow and it's Port at home to West Coast on Sunday. Adelaide United will be wearing black armbands when they take on the Jets in Newcastle tonight. It's to honour Adelaide City Hall of Famer and Player Life member Steve Maxwell. Aussie golfer Jason Day sits two shots off the pace after the opening round of the Players' Championship. And Australia has announced its largest ever Olympic boxing team with a total of 12 athletes bound for Paris. Now checking 5AA traffic. Electrical issues? Ken Hall Plumbers also provide electrical services. For reliable electrical services, give Ken a call. Afternoon at Bedford Park, a crash to look out for Mowrian Road near Sturt Road, slow going outbound there. Another collision at Paraka, Montague Road near Mortal Lakes Boulevard and a smash to it only, only Road near Maud Street. In the East Parklands, Wakefield Road is closed between Kettleville Terrace and East Terrace. That's through to Monday for the Adelaide Motorsport Festival. i got a camera at Main Road at Palunga. The Harvey Norman 2023 TV and soundbar run out sale and Sunday, don't miss clearance prices across the 2023 TV and soundbar range. And Sunday at Harvey Norman. At Light's most accurate traffic on 5AA. Now the 5AA forecast. Get the Toyota Forklift Advantage. Visit toyotamaterialhandling.com.au. Partly cloudy this afternoon, partly cloudy tomorrow 31, Sunday a possible shower 32, mostly sunny Monday 28. Right now it's 29 degrees. Now let's check what's happening on Nine News tonight. I'm Brenton Ragless. Tonight, a freedom bid by the southern suburb woman accused of the love triangle murder of her ex-wife. SA's flu surge and the protection available. The moon, Mars and beyond. Elon Musk celebrates an almost flawless launch of the world's biggest rocket. And we explain the new free program cutting your prescription costs. Nine News, your news, nightly at six on nine and on nine now. Streaming live via the 5AA Player app on DAB Digital Radio and on 1395am. This is 5AA, always Adelaide. The 5AA Sports Show. Get around the little Stephen Rowe and Tim Jennifer. Pick the beauty! 
Yeah, let's go. It's the end of the working week. It's a Friday and it's six minutes after four and we are pumped. Our footy teams are back in action this weekend. It is footy Friday for Rusden Wines in the Barossa Valley, home of the Black Gut Shiraz. Go to rusdenwines.com.au. Stephen Rowe, Timmy G, good afternoon. Yeah, love the Rusden team. Thank you, Sam. Um, And here we are. We're on the eve of the Crows' first game. And I'm now officially bullish. Uh, Crows can win tomorrow. There you are. Good. It's taken... Five days to get that out of you. Five days. I picked pick the lip up, but anyway, yeah. I, I'm going to state a case for them. I, You're I truly good. can. Can't wait to call the game with um, Campo tomorrow. Um, and Port of, well, let's call them a lightly fancied West Coast Eagles Sunday. Could be a massacre. We'll see. Carlton are two from two. Footy is well and truly back. Timmy, welcome. Thanks very much, Stephen. I love yeah, it. Now I was thinking about last night. A Carlton doing a Collingwood. They're just winning the close ones, you know, and that's how yeah. they started their journey, wasn't it? Just mm. by winning these little close ones. And we spoke about how important it is to win the close ones for both our teams to make sure that we're a part of September. So they've started on the right frame, haven't well, they? Well, they have, and we're going to talk about that later because I've got a really good, exciting stat about that. Oh, hello. Because I like doing my homework. You do. I would like, I'll tell you. So, <laughs> well, He's no sort of teasing here. <laughs> I bought your present. Yeah. I know it's only three Open months away, now. but anyway. <laughs> no, well, the last four games they played last year, they won by four by less than a kick. Wow. So the last... Because I know they... Other than the game they lost, mm-hmm. they, obviously. They, they lost had their last six yeah. wins have been by goal or less. There you go. That's, that's, that's a better step. Incredible. And they... I know they had, they had a run of 10 in a row going into finals, so they're on the up, mm. no doubt about that, when they hit finals, yeah. which is a good thing. Um, but this is an interesting stat because they, they obviously know now, a bit like I said, like Collingwood, how to win the finals. They know how to win. And, and, and there is a big thing about that. They say really good teams win the close Find ones. Find a way, they do. Now, if you look at Port Adelaide, go back two years, they lost the close ones. Yep. Last year, they won them. won them. That is the big difference. And so, anyway. You, you win loss, it's a massive difference. They can feel it, Carlton. They can smell what they're cooking. <laughs> they just, oh, oh, they just <laughs> can't wait to speak the test. Oh, they're on no. top of the world. The unique hostile food techs are going to blow up Le- with the Carlton supporters. Le- Leith Forrest is rating a 38. <laughs> like he, he just dials it in. He'll be listening. Oh, God. Oh, I, 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 I heard a, um, a highlight of his show. Guess who he had on? Steve Kernahan. He did. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> That's self-indulgent. Now he's got his own show. Because cause when he was our producer, yeah. oh, he'd have Kernahan's on every week. Yeah. He'd that have him as a regular. so self-indulgent. That's Good like, you know, uh, me, me having Bomber Clifford on. He, he's, <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, how good was he? Bomber was We great. got a lot of info Loved back. It. Anyway, Crows flew to the Gold Coast today. Uh, they got the talent to win. I've said that, no question. If they bring the heat for four quarters, they can get it done. Here's Josh Rochelle blowing Chris Burgess absolutely. Absolute bags. Yeah, he's a bit of a quiet operator, but he knows a lot about him, so he's gave us a bit of insight, same as Isa, coming over obviously from Gold Coast a couple of years ago. But yeah, he's an interesting character, Chris. He's he's very well liked within the group and well respected. Um, goes about his business quite quietly, but yeah, a bit of a quiet achiever he is. Now he's on with David and Will for breakfast, five double A's very own. Mm. He's a regular. Oh, yeah. Do not pull that face. <laughs> <laughs> he will got, not be cursed. To be fair, they haven't got oh, a great God, record, I, have they? I forgot about that. I you will did, trust you. you. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, as I said, Crows get enough inside 50s. Someone will kick the goal. Stud has always said that. You look at any team. Yep. Fogg, Gallant, Rochelle, Rankin, um, they can do some damage. I've got a prediction here. Gallant, Fogg and Rankin. Between them will kick 12. Mm. Now, that could be four each. It could be ranking get six, Fog four, Gallant two. Doesn't matter about two. the mix. I, I think that three, with 50 inside 50s, they'll kick 12 goals. And that could be enough to get them over the line. Yeah, absolutely. Well, no, I've got to make a statement. Well, you've that, got to, that's the best one I could come up with. And the thing about it is, we spoke about it during the week, there has to be a Riley O'Brien standout performance against Wits. 100%. He, he, and use the new rule, and they, yep. I know the other yep. bloke is a big man as well, but you've got to break even so that your midfield get an even break on it as well because that's the only way you can challenge him. You can't allow them to walk out like no. Rao did last week against uh, Richmond. Rao, Anderson and Miller, if they can nullify that, because that's their entire drive. And we're talking three. 50-50. They'll do it. I'm, I'm actually getting more confident by the minute. Yeah. Midfield coach Nathan Van Burlow spoke of the conditions. We played the Gold Coast up in Darwin last year where it was um, really tricky conditions, particularly after half time. And um, I guess looking back at that game, they adjusted a lot quicker and better. 
Well, it's the same for both, so it can't be a it consideration. Is. The, the thing, um, I looked at the forecast, it said 27 degrees, so you're not talking, you know, stifling no. heat or anything, but rain. And it's at night. And so it won't be cold, It will it probably just will be wet. Well, they train with these sprinklers on. Yesterday. Yeah, which is not a, yeah, a good idea definitely. as well. Why not? Win it, use it, hunt them, bring the heat for four quarters. Crows win. Looking forward to calling that with Campo tomorrow. Port of Eagles Sunday Arvo should be a walk in the park. And I know that's a, just a ridiculous thing to say, but, you know, stranger things can happen. Here's Ken Hinckley on Jeremy Finlayson. Oh, Jeremy knows what he brings. He knows how good he can be. And we, look, he's a high-quality player. He's, um, you know, he's an outstanding player for us last year for that period of time where we went on a big run of wins. So um, Jeremy knows what makes his game um, successful at AFL level. Might have gone with Sweet, you? Well, I was. we were talking about it last night, weren't we, about do you take that experiment with the two rucks? Now, they are, well, today at 4.30 it will drop. It will, so 20 minutes away. And we'll find out whether they've gone with two rucks or with Finlayson. Well, it sounds like they've gone with Finlayson. Well... Ken doesn't, not, Ken, no, Ken doesn't he, play cloak, cloaks and daggers. Not normally, but he, he didn't actually commit to say he's playing, though, did he? Oh, didn't he? No, he just sort of said, we know what he brings. Oh. Um, so he's, he's th- talking. I read it, he was in. He was talking sort of past tense. <laughs> oh, oh, bless oh, wow. you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gee, Kilpatrick just shot out and hit the back of the fan. <laughs> oh, dear, Sorry, oh, dear. Dear. Seafood Gee, for dinner. That, that came from nowhere. Well, I had a handful of burgerings coming in. <laughs> and a, oh, wow. Wow. Um, If they are, that, that's what they're going to do. <laughs> They're going to go. Sorry, mate. They, that's all right. They're going to if they're going to go that way. I said yeah. that last night. You they'll did. either go Finlayson second ruck yep. or Sweet second ruck and not play Finlayson. So, so I'll we'll ask find you out again. One hundred percent at four thirty. I'm going with Sweet. Are you? I would have because I think it's a good would. opportunity to experiment yeah, with it. Well done. Um, Ken then spoke about selection and availability. Yeah, we're in, a, we're in a pretty healthy position from an availability point of view. We've got two or three boys unavailable, and obviously from an AFL point of view, Lordy would be the one who would love to have available. But around one every year, some anxiety and some, some nerves and some excitement. It's just the way it is. We've got a new logo, Tim. Yeah, well, we, we had one. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in a flame. <laughs> what happened there? You put, um, put all on it. Now, other than SPP and Mitch Georgiatis, you're full tilt. It is. But you are full uh, tilt. Oh, Lord, obviously out, but uh, those guys uh, are going to... And George Artis, uh will come back through Sample, and I think they're going to be very cautious with him. Um, but I, I don't think it'll take long for him to sort of break back in, but that'll depend on team performance. Playing West Coast, who we know haven't been great in the last few years, and we don't expect to be great again this season, it's, it's a real difficult one mentally. The only thing I'll say is that the boys would be absolutely champing at the bit to, be, will be. to just get a real game under their belt. Yeah. I so love Real I, I'd expect that that will lift them to the uh, to the performance that they want to play at, and then yeah. it will be like, you beauty, yeah. at least we've got to start. The last time Crows and Port both won round one was what? 2021. Can they do it? Eight double two three double O double O, and give us your prediction. We've got that Rusden Black Gut Shiraz. I think they will. Well, notice the shirt today. You didn't make a comment Rusden. about mm. the uh, shirt I brought in. Von Val Vitners. And I'll wear this every Barossa Friday. Day. If it's going to, if, during oh, the footy nice. season, it's yeah. going to be Rusden's Friday. So yeah. um, went there the other week, I as you it. know, for the yeah. daughter's birthday, and and got this yeah. lovely polo that was on display. I love how you schnooze in there. I've not got one of them. No, well, uh, if you just put your well, hand in your pocket, Christian. you can buy one, mate. It's easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, not that hard. Oh boy, where are we? <laughs> Counting the two from two, won both games by less than a kick. They sit top of the ladder. I mean, how weird's that? Crows and Porter haven't even played, and this team's on eight points. Mm. But even worse than that, guess what they're doing next week? Having a buy. They've got a buy. <laughs> They've got a it's buy. Bizarre. Oh, God. I think Carlton are the new touched on the ding ding with a lucky stick team. Have a listen to Patrick Cripps. Yeah, mate, we just, uh, everyone's, everyone's cooked, I think. It was a tough game, so, um, you know, we found a way to dig in again. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a cracker contest. They, uh, they threw a lot of punches. Uh, nine Carlton frees to one Richmond free in the last quarter. That deconing 50 was all of 70 metres. Buy a block of land from that rooster. Um, someone wants Carlton in the finals, and 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 it's not the footy gods. I Ooh. think it starts with a V and ends in an L. Wow. Oh, oh, there might Steve, be an F in the middle. Oh, oh. We've already got a Timmy. unique. I told you you you'd be upsetting people, and oh, already have I? Wally's just thrown in and said, "Oh, thanks a lot, Rowie. You flog. You better not stick oh. the mockers on us this year. Go Blues." So they're worried already that you've cursed them because you played. Can you feel it? 
Oh, well, let's do it again. <laughs> oh. If ever there's a team we want to curse. So oh. Carlton to top with two wins. They've got a boy next week. Crows and Port haven't played. We said that. Who thinks opening round's a winner on the back of that? So who honestly now thinks on the back of that opening round's a winner? And if you've got a prediction for round one, and who's with me, both Crows and Port can win, you've got a Rusden Black Gut Shiraz. Lines available. Get on the blower. Let's have some fun. Yep. It'll be interesting with the ladder now, too. It throws it out of whack for the next six weeks. Absolutely. Hey, guys, last night, really late, um, we were talking about the Eddie Maguire, Jimmy yes. Bartell conversation. They yes. were talking about how do you solve the, the problem with the, the goal technology. We saw, the, obviously, the Keys goal. That was a goal. We called a point. So to solve that, um, Eddie and Jimmy Bartell have come up with a solution. So what is an obvious solution to this, Jimmy? You're two goal umpires. Thank you. If you stand between the behind post and the goal post, and you're on the other side doing the same thing, and it doesn't go through your bit, and it doesn't go through your mate's bit, it means it's gone through the goal post, and it also means that you're in the right angle for balls coming in at high velocity that come in off an angle. Every position is covered. <laughs> I, I actually couldn't believe they thought that this was a good... I thought it was a gag. I thought it was a gag. Could not believe it was an option, right? So, so I we have 12 umpires. Yeah. I brought it up with uh, Pembo and Will this morning on the Brecky Show. That. And I loved the description that Will Goodings gave about... Because I said, the money's got to be spent on technology. Not, not another 100%. four umpires... Have a listen to what Will said. If you, ride on a, if you ride on a scooter in the city of Adelaide and go one millimetre outside of where it can operate, a satellite disables it. Yet... <laughs> Good point. Yet, we have sticks that are, what, 12 metres high and we don't have the technology to determine where a ball passed or whether it hit them or not. That, that just blows my mind. Now, now, can we fact check that scooter thing? Is that a real thing? Oh, it's yeah. 100% real. As I said to Will, I said I was riding one from the convention centre trying to get back to the car park here. And I went through the mall. I didn't know you couldn't ride them in the mall. Just, just Oh, stopped. really? <laughs> Dead set now stop. That's and I had technology. to walk it. I had to walk it about 100 metres to get it back into a zone. That is technology. And we can't spend that money. That's what I, I think they're either reluctant or reticent to actually spend the money mm. on technology mm. that would absolutely solve it like that. Yeah. Get it done. Look, I want to know, 8223 what do you think of having four goal umpires? Or if you think there's a better uh, way to solve this problem, then let us mm. know because there's a bottle of... Rust and black guts. You got it on the line. Done. Eight double two three double O double O. Have you say nineteen after four? We've got plenty on the show tonight. Warren Treadray to join us at five. The Crows and Port Assistant coaches ahead of the weekend will join us, Scotty Burns and Luke Kelly. We've got Terry McAuliffe as well with his tips. It's a short show. We're off at six because we get ahead to Friday night footy. But while we have you, we want your calls. Eight double two three double O double O. As you said to me, best caller has that Rusden Blackgut Shiraz be in their day. pocket for the weekend. Our last 5 double locker room double as well to give away tonight Ooh. for the Port West Coast game. And wow. we are giving away tonight <gasps> the big prize. I'm going to miss it. All thanks to Steinborner Automotive. Look at it. The yeah. Benzina Sports Scooter is going to go mm. to one of our lucky listeners tonight. Great for them, but sad for us. So so don't, so don't get on the blower. You yeah. can still go into the draw. Yeah. yeah. Every caller. Goes into the draw. Mate, thanks to imagine Stonewall. whizzing around on this. Oh, that would eight the satellite tonight. wouldn't kick that one out. Oh no. <laughs> eight double two three double O double O. That's the number. Get involved in the show. We've got heaps of time for your calls. It's twenty after four. Rowie and Timmy G on the five double A sports show. Make your move into a new Mazda at the Mawson Lakes Mazda M Event. From March 12 to 16, enjoy an M Event bonus of up to 2K off a wide range of 2023 plated Mazda models, including the CX-3, CX-30, CX-5 and BT-50. Head to Mawson Lakes Mazda for the M Event and make it yours, while stocks last. Salisbury Highway, just a short drive from the city. Terms, conditions and exclusions apply. See mazda.com.au for details. This is RB Day for Supercraft Bedding with Tales from the Bedroom. Modern world confuses me sometimes. A mate of a mate said, I got a single-sided mattress and it's already dipping. And I said, well, he didn't get it from Supercraft Bedding, they refused to make them. You see, our two-sided mattresses last twice as long because you can flip them. Why would you want half a mattress? Use your noggin next time you're shopping for a mattress. See Supercraft Bedding. Building better flippable beds. 42 Richmond Road, Keswick. All right, listen up. Adelaide's newest and best sellers 
and drive through is now open in Panorama. Now, Bet you can't guess the name. Yeah, no, it's Panorama Cellars. Um, <laughs> well, I've, heard, I've heard Pembo basically lives there. Yeah. So if you've never met him or you want to meet him, you want to have a wine or just stroll around the Panorama Cellars. And he'll you. give you an idea of what wine to, to he, uh, pair up with he, what meal. You, you reckon you're a good drinker. He, he likes a slurp. He loves um, a paella. They've got the range of wines, beers and spirits. You'll be able to find something that is just Perfect for you. Correct. Right now, Panorama Cellars has some great specials available. So listen to these. James Bogues Premium Lager, 24 bottles. The old $50. How good's that? Ooh, wow. Johnny Walker Red Label Scotch, 700ml, $40. Tim Adams Pinot Gris, 750ml, $15. No. Get in there and take the lot. That is a ripper drop, too. Oh, put it all together, babe. Yeah. That like. sounds like a good reason to restock the cupboard. Head in today. Take a look at the amazing new store. It's located at 625 Goodwood Road, Panorama. Panorama Cellars is open Monday to Saturday, 9am to midnight, and Sunday, 9am to 9pm, and always drink responsibly. Easy, settle down. Who are you? Jack the Crack. Ooh, nice straight walls you've got there. What are you doing? Messing up your house, compromising its integrity. Why? See that little crack there in the corner? That's all I needed. But... Step aside, please. Don't let cracks ruin your home. Adelaide Screw Piling will underpin your foundation, saving you thousands. Fully licensed, servicing all suburbs. Go to adelaidescrewpiling.com.au Hearing Australia's Hearing the Nation Tour is coming to Adelaide. Delivering free hearing checks for adults. Search Hearing the Nation for more. Hearing Australia. Conditions apply under the Australian Government Hearing Services Program. It's Edward from Edwardstown, Mazda. The M event is on now. It's really big. So he's a big person to tell you more. <laughs> Thanks, Edward. He's right. Our once a year M event is on now and it's big. How big? Think huge. M event factory bonuses plus a $2,000 trade in bonus exclusive to Edwardstown Mazda. Wow. I know. The M event on now. Now play that jingle sing, please. It's gotta be. Edwardstown Mazda. It's been a long summer for the power. And now, their campaign starts against the Eagles. We only snap to go! It's there! After a disappointing end last year, power fans will settle for nothing less than a solid win. That's better, Tom. Port Adelaide back in front. Sunday Arvo on 5AA. The power have a big point to prove as they host the Eagles. This will bring the house down. AFL Live on 5AA, always Adelaide. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. 24 minutes after four, a Rusden Black Gut Shiraz on offer for our best caller tonight. Get involved in the show, 8223 0000. Crows and Port play their first games of the year this weekend. How are you feeling in front of them? And then, of course... Timmy put the question out there. Do you like the idea four of goal umpires? Four goal umpires really? instead of two. Hey, caramba. Eight, double two, three, double O, oh, double O. Oh. Amani, Canali, Zenya. Find them all at Ignition for Men. Adelaide's home of luxury menswear. 54 Paynham Road, Stepney. Here's your traffic. Crash to look out for at the moment at Bedford Park. Marion Road near Sturt Road. Slow going there. Another collision at Paraka. Montague Road near Morsel Lakes Boulevard. And a smash at Unley 2. Unley Road near Maud Street. And Mings Parklands. Wakefield Road is closed between Kettlewood Terrace and East Terrace till Monday. That's for the Adelaide Motorsport Festival. Looking forward to that. And we've got cameras today. Gorge Road, Parrick Home and Kester's Road at Parra Hills West. Afterpay Day is here. Seize the deals and save $100 off vet services at Green Cross Vets. Book now. T's and C's apply. Ends March 17. See afterpay.com for afterpay terms. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. Let's go to the phones. Yeah. We've got uh, Mark at Golden Grove. G'day, Mark. What do you think of this goal line technology? Four goal umpires, solve it. Uh, it's a bit of a joke. So what I'll do, how much is it costing for the additional umpires of every game yeah, and all the point. technology with the ball hitting the post, etc.? I, so, I would say it's about 200 grand, probably 100 grand per goal lump. Mm -hmm. And then you've got yeah, two right, extras. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll split the difference with you. Just let the ball hit the post. If it goes through, it goes through. If it bounces back out, it's just play on, just like every other sport. Mm. Forget about it hitting mm. the post. Just let it hit the post and... So be it. 
job done. Big change, but for our game, for all the yeah. records, massive change. I don't mind it, Mark. I can't see him doing it, but that's the cheapest option it's without a definitely doubt. Definitely the cheapest option. Hello, well Johnny. Done. Hello, hey, John. John. Uh, Super Ripper. Hey, um, uh, first call in with you guys. Uh, just want to compliment on that. You're a good team. Mm. And, uh, Rowie, keep listening to your offsider. Hey, um, <laughs> watch last night's game. Um, I'm a Crow supporter. I'm saying that, all right? Yeah. So, uh, last night's game, and, uh, I'm just watching it on the TV, but I thought the way the umpiring that last quarter influenced the momentum of the uh, Richmond Footy Club and how questionable some of those frees were. Um, yeah, nine to one. Uh, there's something more than umpire bias going on there, I reckon. So, um, not good. Well, how's the 50 metre penalty, John? Oh, look, I think, and if you watch that free kick, and a lot of players do it, um, that actually take the mark, they deliberately step a metre over the mark. So, um, you know, Richmond player was actually just standing the mark. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, umpires need to sharpen up, I think. But uh, yeah, secondly, uh, as a Crows and a supporter and love it when the SA teams are doing well, um, yeah, just the compromise in the start of the season, how a team can be two two games up and uh, other teams haven't even, you know, fight a shot. It's uh, weird. Just beggars belief. And, um, you know, I think as well how for teams can be playing a team that played last week as well and I think they could launch round zero very easily, give clear air to the Northern Clubs, just having a Thursday to Tuesday opening round um, still have your marquee games and um, you know, it just takes so much of the compromise out of the season. Yeah, and then roll, yeah, on. roll it into round one. You know well done, John. Good if, call, mate. If New South Wales and the AFL are that hell-bent to give them a leg up, let's have two gather rounds. If gather round is that great, and it is, mm. Have two. Have one opening round and have one when we have it. I had no problems with highlighting with that? up north. I had no problems with taking the big clubs no. up there. I had no problems with that. It's just what it's done to the anomaly of the season now. It's a compromise. And not having a round attached to it <laughs> yeah. is the most bizarre thing going yeah. around. So, yeah, I, I think they can do it better in the future yeah. and they probably will. Let's go to Port Norlunga. G'day, Steve. G'day, guys. How are you going? Um, look, I, I did have a bit of a rant and a rave. Um, I reckon Sam might have been on the air with KG about the uh, the opening round. But w one of the things I noticed yesterday when Caroline Wilson was on, that she 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 raised that oh, you guys, you know, you've got um, you've got gather round and you can't deny the the north. I, mate, nobody denies mm. the northern uh, states. So the, the the opening round, not at all, no, no issues at all whatsoever. The biggest, the biggest problem I have is that when, when round one starts, there will be clubs like Adelaide who have to play guys, uh, teams that have already, have already got a game under their belts. That is the biggest, that is a huge advantage. I that is an absolute, is. that's a massive advantage. Mm. And Caroline, Caroline Wilson yesterday, I think she clipped Rowie like she usually does, <laughs> um, you know, tried to make it another than them. I don't think anyone's got an issue at all no, with the no. opening round. It's round one that's the, the, where it really stuffed up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd, be, I'd feel much better about Adelaide's game tomorrow without Tex and um, uh, and uh, Riley uh, if if we were playing a team or we'd had a game under our belt the week before. So you well, know, don't don't try and don't uh, Eastern States don't try and make it about as being jealous. It's not that. It's, no, it's, um, not that. it's just right. just another compromised load of crap from the AFL. Yeah. No, nah, Steve, good call. All three were Crow's excellent that calls. Tomorrow. That mm. is a that's a massive. Not massive only win. in the running for the benzina scooter, but they're also in Rusten the running Blank for the Rusden's Blank Guts. More word. Wearing yeah. the shirt with pride today. All right, Port Adelaide have just dropped three club debutants locked in for round one. We're going to find out who they are next with Luke Kelly, Port Adelaide assistant coach. After the headlines, the Five AA Sports Show with Rowie and Timmy G. This is 5AA News, always Adelaide. Good afternoon, Mel Usher with the latest news headlines. SA has recorded its second meningococcal case in as many days. A 15-year-old male from the metro area is in hospital in a stable condition. Firefighters are battling a large blaze at a scrap metal yard in Wingfield. 
A three and a half metre tall puppet known as Little Amal will walk through the mall next hour. She's a global symbol of human rights. And in sport, Adelaide United will be wearing black armbands when they take on the Jets tonight in honour of Steve Maxwell. Now checking 5AA traffic. Electrical issues? Ken Hall Plumbers also provide electrical services. For reliable electrical services, give Ken a call. At Kent Town, a breakdown on Flinders Road near Decatable Terrace. That's blocking the intersection at the moment. It's crash at Woodville North, Torrens Road near Hanson Road. And we're busy with another crash at Parak and Montague Road near Morsel Lakes Boulevard. Fringe Road closures had kicked off in and around Rundle Street. Be aware of that, the Savo. And in the East Parklands, Wakefield Road is closed between Decatable Terrace and East Terrace for the Adelaide Motorsport Festival. The King Living Anniversary Sale in Sunday. Save up to 50% on selected Australian design award-winning furniture. Sale in Sunday. Visit the King Living Keswick Showroom today. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. The 5AA forecast, partly cloudy tonight down to 19. A possible shower for your Saturday and 31. Right now it's 29 degrees. We'll have more news at 5 and as it happens on 5AA. <laughs> David Penberthy and Will Goodies. 5AA Breakfast. Well, Anthony Albanese is in Adelaide today. Can you rule out a redistribution of GST on the basis of population? It's an arm's length from government. And what you wouldn't But want. you did sign that guy's arm in Western Australia saying you wouldn't change it. Could you, could you sign with South Australian's arm saying you won't change I'll, it? I'll sign your forehead, Penberthy. <laughs> no, that was <laughs> Will. <laughs> Adelaide's leading breakfast show. But I'd rather... I've known you for longer. <laughs> Weekdays from 6am on 5AA. Always Adelaide. Get obsessed with a Honda SUV range at Formula Honda, Modbury and Glen Osmond. Whether it's the compact HRV, the sporty mid-sized Honda ZRV, or the spacious CRV. And for a limited time, new Honda SUVs come with a seven-year warranty, seven-year roadside assist, and five standard low-price services at $199 each. Visit Formula Honda, Modbury or Glen Osmond and test drive today. Vehicles used for a commercial purpose have a seven-year or 200,000 kilometer warranty, whichever occurs first. At honda.com.au. More than 17,000 Australians, both young and old, will die from stroke or heart attack caused by hypertension or high blood pressure this coming year. Many could be prevented through early detection. But right now, an Adelaide research team is seeking volunteers for a study to trial a potential treatment. If you've been diagnosed with moderate hypertension and you're between 18 and 72, you could be eligible. Go to fusiontrials.com.au slash hypertension or call 08 6996. You will be compensated for your time. Yeah, Port's team with Luke Kelly stay with us and we'll speak to Burns as well, Scotty Burns for the Crows. Hey, Toolkit Depot exclusive three-day Makita sale event is on now till Saturday. Whether you're shopping in-store or online, don't miss out on incredible Makita deals. Make it even better. Sign up for free as a TKD club or trade member and you'll get double discounts. That's on the entire Makita range, from the power tools, outdoor gear, to accessories, 12 volt, 18 volt, 40 volt, anything Makita means double the savings for TKD members. Plus, Mega Makita battery deals are exclusive offers, and it's across all three days. Mega Makita, Mega Makita. I just <laughs> love saying it. Toolkit Depot's three-day Makita sale event. It ends this Saturday. Head in store or hop online at toolkitdepot.com.au. Toolkit Depot, everything you need to get the job done. Hurry, last days, 2023 TV and soundbar run out and Sunday at Harvey Norman. Don't miss clearance prices across the entire 2023 range, plus bonus local delivery on selected TV 65 inch and above. Samsung 65 inch OLED TV, now just $2,795. Save more than $500 on Samsung S800B Ultra Slim Soundbar, now $489. Super King Size Hisense 85 inch TV, now just $1,795. Hurry, Harvey Norman 2023 TV and soundbar run out and Sunday. The BMW sale event is on now. Enjoy savings equal to the GST on select BMW vehicles across the range. Visit your participating BMW dealer today. Terms and conditions apply. Offer ends 18th of March 2024. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. It's 25 minutes to 5. Treaders coming up after 5 o'clock. You can ask him anything you like. Call in 8223 0000. Get his thoughts on port for the weekend. He had his first board meeting today. And you could even ask about the uh, the goal umpire situation. Have your thoughts and ask away. Scotty Burns from the Crows very shortly as well. And a bottle of Rusden Black Guts for our best caller tonight. So get on the phone. Every reason to. 8223 0000. Timmy. 
Port Adelaide's round one team has dropped. It has indeed. So the emergencies, and I think that's where everybody wants to know who got taken out of the team. So the emergencies will be Jace Burgoyne, Dil Dylan Williams and Jordan Sweet. So those three guys come out of the lineup. Um, the interchange, which one will be named sub an hour before the game. That's yes. the new rule, mm -hmm. new, new thing that's going. So the interchange will be Kane Farrell, uh, Finn Lason, Willem Drew, Francis Evans and Jackson Mead. Now, of those, I'm thinking to myself, Farrell will play, Finn Lason yep. will play, yep. Drew will play. Yep. And I reckon it's out of Mead, Evans, but I think Mead will play and Evans will be sub. That'll be my guess on that one. Yeah, I, don't know, I think you're right. I don't know whether we'll get that And three debutants. Well, three debutants for Paul Adelaide. Adelaide yeah. So, yeah. Radigalia, uh, Soldo, Zerk, Thatcher. Correct. Yeah, the three you know. would expect. So, Excellent stuff. We're going to go to the assistant midfield coach now, Luke Kelly. G'day, Luke. How are you going, boys? We were saying earlier that uh, round one selection is always the toughest, especially when you've just about got everybody available. That would have been a tough one. Yeah, tough but good. That's what you're hoping for mm. this time of year. Um, plenty of guys in form pushing for their spots. Um, and I think you'll see the, the fallout of the tough match committee tomorrow when the Magpies go around for their first hit out. Um, it'll be a pretty strong side rolling around at Thebben and Debarra. Not wrong. Uh, so the decisions on uh, Burgoyne on the wing. So Bokey played himself into that spot with his form and, and Jace uh, will play tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And again, Jace has been really good for us all pre-season and, and really growing into that role. But right now you've got the experience of, of Travers again and a year under his belt with that wing in the pre-season. And, and then obviously Miles, um, who's, who we know what he can do at AFL level and, and especially on that wing. So, um, yeah, another stiff um, for Jace. But we know at some stage you know, he's going to get his look and he's going to be ready to go. How tempted were you to go with two rucks? Yeah, it's definitely a discussion because we feel like Ivan and, and Jordan can, can both give us something forward um, in time. But right now, I think, you know, we know what we, we get with, with Jez, um, Todd and, and Charlie. And um, we feel like right now, that's, that's where our goal is going to come from. Which is fair enough there. Um, all training intensity this week, has it gone up a level? I mean, I was talking about opportunity you've got to play Sunday which seems like a long time away when all this other footy's been happening what was tra training intensity like yeah you're not wrong playing the playing on, on the Sunday afternoon makes for an even longer process mm. uh, to be honest so no we had, we had a good build through the early part of the week and um, had the day off yesterday and the boys bounced in this morning and um, no nah, that we were at a very good level of intensity today um, knowing for what's coming on Sunday Ken's been speaking about those marginal improvements. Uh, the trials are complete. You know, everything's done and dusted. Pre-season's all in the box. Compare year on year to this day, happy? Yeah, definitely. You know, we did a review of our pre-season. Um, we were able to get more match play minutes in without you know, compromising our skill development and all our, our sort of learning throughout the pre-season. And, um, so, yeah, in terms of gains, you know, we feel like we've made marginal gains in, in all our areas. Um, now, it's, now it's a matter of starting to put them together consistently, you know, especially through the early part of the year. No one reckons West Coast can get close to you, Luke. So as a coaching group, can you smell complacency amongst your group? Uh, definitely not complacency. I think, you know, again, the boys have been waiting all pre-season to be able to roll yeah. out there in round one in, in front of the home crowd. So I don't think you're ever going to get complacency at round one. Um, and I think you've only got to look at last night's game in terms of if you're, if you're even just slightly off. I don't think anyone saw Richmond clearance dominance coming off the week before. Um, you, you know, and we're coming up against a team of have preached all pre-season that they're going to get contest and pressure and um, some front-half footy going, which means that we're going to have to be ready on the inside um, from, from the first minute. And what about the start? Is that discussed? It was a... A sore point last year for you guys. Um, you've had a couple of trial games. Neither of them started blisteringly. Um, the start's important. Is it a focus? Yeah. So, again, every week you, you, you need to be able to start well and against teams that are going to bring that high energy and mm. high pressure early. Uh, we've got to be able to match them. And it's not always... You don't always get those blistering starts where you kick three out of the middle and you, and you put it to bed. You know, teams at their best, doesn't matter where they sit on the ladder, have got an ability to play elite AFL football for, for periods. And, and most of the time, 
you sort of it's sort of a bit of a, it ends up looking like a nil all draw from the start because both teams are at such a high level. Um, it's just a matter of then what what do you do when you start to get into the tenth and fifteenth and twenty minutes of the of the quarter? I think that's where you see good teams start to sustain and and then hopefully uh, reward themselves. Uh, Luke, we won't find out who the sub is until an hour before the game, or would you like to just give us a little secret now? No, I think you'll find with the teams being able to name the 23, uh, it allows us to, to hold on to that and maybe, you know, add 10 more minutes to their match committee, and that's that's that's, that's what we're, we're, where we'll sit at the moment. Yeah, I don't, I'd hate to play poker against you. Thanks very much, Luke. <laughs> really appreciate your time, buddy. Anytime, boys. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Midfield assistant Luke Kelly yeah. just giving us a rundown on selection and who was in and why. And uh, that was that was great timing, actually, on the back of the 4.30 announcement mm. of the teams. We find out why they picked two. So that was excellent. Well done. Hello, Dave. G'day, fellas. How are we? got three quick ones. First one, no more umpires, please. Yeah, please. With you, Dave. Please. Second one is, uh, unfortunately, Rowie, I think Crows will go down this week between three to six goals. And even worse, I think Port will get up by around 10. Oh, Dave, come on. And I think both, oh, If the Crows win this one, it's going to be a mighty effort. But they It'll can. be a huge effort, More and good. I'll be the first one to be happy. Yeah, good the idea. other thing is, fellas, and I'll, I'll show my cards, I am a Carlton supporter. Okay. Had either the Port or the Crows been allowed to play in the... Uh, that round, well, I can't even think what they called it. Gather round? Well, yeah, the, opening no, round. No, yeah, opening round. Oh, yeah. Would you still be whinging? Well, if you were going into the buy this week? And I understand that it's yeah, I don't a think, ridiculous... I don't think the buy is ideal for Carlton either, Dave. No, but neither do I, to be honest. Well, we're, got, on a, we're on a, a roll. We're on a roll. Correct. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And That's also, by playing that one week earlier, we've already got an injury. Yeah, yeah I, I, I just... I think the whole thing has been hey. a bit of a mismatch as far as... Hey, Planning goes. Hey, Dave, you there, Dave? Yeah. I can smell what you're cooking, mate. I do like it. I can smell it. Mm. He's going back. He's going back to a Dave. few membership campaigns ago, I reckon. He's... <laughs> Don't fall right, into mate. it, Dave. Don't fall into it, mate. Enjoy it while you I can. I love it. Let's Hello, go. Johnny. Yeah, g'day, guys. Look, with the technology we have these days, we're a, um, a little yellow ball can be sighted. Um, at 160 kilometres an hour in, in tennis, I don't know why they can't get a bit of technology just to find out where the bloody the Sharon's going over mm-hmm. these over these sticks. Oh, biggest belief, John. No, it's a fair call. That's a fair call, Johnny. We've heard chips in the ball. Yep. We've heard satellites. We've heard well, the stuff you know, the stuff you cannot goal line do. technology. Isn't VAR, that ironic, DAR, though? DAR up the yin yin ya. Isn't that ironic though that Eddie McGuire is the one touting the idea for two umpires at one end when he was also the one getting behind the, the chip in the footy, which mm. apparently the AFL's actually doing. Yeah, they're experimenting. Yeah. Why, why have the two umpires? I just have to correct somebody here. here Unique Homestyle Food text. Thomas said, Timmy, you're delusional with the umpires. Four goal umpires in the AFL? What about SNFL, Waffle, local kids? Tom, I have not ever for one minute been endorsing four goal umpires. Not, not for one. one single second, no. Tom. No, Tom. Let me clear that up. Is that clear enough? I think Tom, that is very clear. Thank you. Switch your ears on, buddy. Tw- uh, 16 minutes to five. We've got Treaders coming up after five. And after the break, Scotty Burns from the Crows. Get on the phone, 8223 0000. Let's check your traffic out there. Amani, Canali, Zenye. Find them all at Ignition for Men. Adelaide's home of luxury menswear, 54 Paynham Road, Stepney. G'day there, I can town. A breakdown on Flinders Street near Catapul Terrace, blocking the intersection. At Woodville North, crash there. Torrens Road near Hanson Road. Another collision at Paraka, Montague Road near Morsel Lakes Boulevard. Friends Road closures had kicked in around Rundle Street, so be aware of that, the Savo. And in the East Parklands, Wakefield Road is closed between Catapult Terrace and East Terrace for the Adelaide Motorsport Festival. Got a camera to Port Road, Adeltinga. Dan Murphy's don't match. They beat prices. Penfolds, Max's, Shiraz, just 20 90 And Sunday at Dan Murphy's. Choose to drink wise, T's and C's apply. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. The 5AA Sports Show, Rowie and Timmy G. Timmy, a massive giveaway is revving up. Oh, yes, it is. Thanks to our mates at Steinborner Automotive, you could win a Benzina sports scooter worth 
$4,000. No fuel, no emissions, no noise. This high-performance scooter packs 4,100 watts of power and a 90-kilometre range. Yeah, well, we sat on one but didn't take off, thank the Lord. <laughs> to be in the running, all you need to do is call up and get on air during the show with Rowie and I. So thanks to the legends at Steinborder Automotive in Gawler, Barossa and Claire, TNC Supply. Hey, good luck. Hearing Australia's Hearing the Nation Tour is coming to Adelaide. Delivering free hearing checks for adults. Search Hearing the Nation for more. Hearing Australia. Conditions apply under the Australian Government Hearing Services Program. Oh, when was the last time we just ditched the weekend chores and had some fun? At Sip and Save, we believe the time is now. Buy a Han Superdry 3.5 30-pack for $55.99 and enter at sipandsave.com.au for your chance to win a super weekender trip for you and three friends. We've also got Cooper's Pale Ale 24-pack for $57.99 and Sky Vodka 700ml for $42.99. You can expect more from Sip and Save. More deals, more range, more service. Terms and conditions apply. Prices may vary in country areas. Sip and Save. It's more in store. It's the SUV brand few people knew about, you know, not a lot were talking about, but boy, they can't now. They cannot stop talking about the magnificent Ineos Grenadier, premium old school off-roader, slick modern tech. You'll want it in your garage. Oh, yeah. You'll want to take your kids to the footy in it. I'm telling you. You want to say to your neighbour, yeah, have, have a look, look at my innie. Look at me. Your big innie head. Look at me, look at me. Uh, if you haven't gone on the website and built your own, then just get up there to Adelaide Hills Motor Group. They're on Glen Osmond Road, and you can see the display models in stock. But even better, get behind the wheel. Give yeah. it a little buzz around. I think that's the best thing to do. Take it for a squirt. It's bigger than a buzz, yeah. though. It's huge. It's, it's like a big vehicle. It's like a brick. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's covered in mounting points for your gear, has heaps of cargo air. I love the idea of the overhead button bank. You get caught in there a bit. Yeah, you, I'll tell you what, you can't knock these off the footy. Let me tell you, right now, Ineos are upgrading your adventures by throwing in three wow. and a half thousand dollars towards accessories. Now, these accessories aren't just add-ons, they're expedition essentials. Yeah, you got it right. See, so capital letters too. Highlighted with a couple of one of those well, things. Going on expedition, you need the yeah. essentials. Now, whether it's side runners to give you a step up, a rhubarb for protection, a roof rack, might even be a four by four. Whatever you want for three and a half grand, whatever you want, add it on. Do yourself a favour and test drive the Ineos Grenadier. It's at Adelaide Hills Motor Group, Glen Osmond Road, Fullerton. Hello, Frank Walker from National Tiles. It's raining free tiles at National Tiles. Yes, National Tiles are giving away free tiles for the month of March. At National Tiles, buy three square metres of almost all of our tiles, laminate or timber flooring and we'll give you one square metre absolutely free. No catches, no gimmicks, but you'll have to be quick. So rush into National Tiles for your free tiles, laminate or timber flooring now before it's too late. Conditions apply. Whether you're coming into the city for footy, friends or family, or you're headed out into SA, you can let Stateliner do the driving for you. They have a fleet of modern, comfortable buses that connects Adelaide to the Air Peninsula, the Mid-North, Riverland and Southeast, with many towns in between. Stateliner buses are equipped with toilets, air conditioning, they're wheelchair accessible, and you can even charge your phone. With 50% off for pensioners, seniors, children and SA full-time students, let Stateliner do the driving for you. Book today. This is life-changing. The Hospital Research Foundation Home Lottery's $3.6 million grand prize is spectacular seaside living at Henley Beach. You could be living on permanent holiday mortgage-free in a fully furnished Scott Salisbury home with $250,000 cash in the bank. Get your tickets now. Join the fight and support life-changing medical research for all South Australians. HomeLottery.com.au License M14493. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. Ten minutes to five. Locker room tickets still to give away later on in the program. Treaders is coming up in about 10, 15 minutes' time. You can ask him anything you like. Call in 8223 0000. You'll go in the running and really late in the running too for what is our giveaway tonight at about 5.30 we'll do this the Benzina Sports Scooter we're finally giving it to a lucky listener all thanks to Steinborn Automotive it's always worth the trip Hyundai, Ford, Mitsubishi, Mazda all across the group Steinborner.com.au Well Crows are on the Gold Coast for round one joining us Senior Assistant Ford Coach Scott Burns Burnsy, welcome G'day boys, how are you going? No texts and no worries? 
Yeah, well, hopefully, yeah, yeah. He wasn't um, wasn't too far off a big fella, but just travelling um, probably restricted him a little bit more. And um, yeah, for him to get up, we probably needed a, a Sunday game at home. So yeah, look, okay. it's, it's only a six day turnaround to round two. So hopefully, he gets a good um, training session or two in next week. Yeah, we know what he does, ball in hand. But his instructional voice, he's very directional out there. He he's a leader. Good opportunity for Fog. Yeah, not just Fog. Yeah, there's there's a few now, but we've got um, Murphy up there as well. And I mean, Rochelle and and Pedler and those boys. You, you're talking about third and fourth year players now too. So they've been around long enough to know what, what's required and um, what's expected. But you're right though in the sense of, um, of Fog, and I'll, I'll include Murphy in there too. But they've just been um, included into that leadership group. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for them. Who's going to ruck inside fifty now? Oh, Burgess predominantly will probably be that second ruckman. Um, Galan can do it. We we actually rucked Galan a little bit last year when we went over to West Coast later in the year, so he can still do a bit of that uh, as well. And um, Fogarty's one that could easily do the things that Tex does in a, in a forward 50 with his size and his strength, being able to be that bullock in forward who can just maybe protect the space, take out the ruck and, and snap a shot on goal. So there, there are a few options there for us. Talk us through selection on Mark Keane. I think he's recovered from his... Um, concussion. He he's appears to be named as the emergency. Uh, they've got King Casbolt Lacocious all hit the scoreboard last week. You got good coverage there, and it was was good that you know your back ball ace in. Yeah, he's had a terrific um, yeah. preseason, um, boss. So we've been really happy with him. And yeah, Kenny was just unlucky. He got that knock early, and it was early in the game too. So he only played about ten or fifteen minutes in that game against Port Adelaide. That practice game, so he just hasn't quite had the run in his legs. But we're we're really happy with him. He's he's certainly gone up a, another level from last year. Just he got out here late for that preseason, and having a full preseason, he certainly changed his body shape slightly. And mm. um, yeah, look, we expect him to play a fair bit of football this year. Mm. Scouting Suns round one. What what were your takeouts? Um, oh, there's a few. Obviously, when they when they get that stoppage game going with that, their elite mids and. You know, Jared Witts is a big boy as well. He's, he's probably been an underrated ruckman over the last five or six years. So he certainly gave them first look at it. And, and as you mentioned earlier, with the with the forwards that they've got in, in Lacocious and King, and you know, Roses is a pretty clever little player as well at ground level. So if they get enough supply, they're, they're going to be hard to stop. So we've got to make sure that the boys, which we generally do, they'll bring the heat around stoppage and, and we'll have um, Riley O'Brien competing pretty aggressively against Witts. So hopefully we get that. Uh, if we don't get uh, you know, the advantage there or at least breaking even. Hey, Burns, good luck. Uh, we spoke to Nixie during the week and uh, I said, look, I could only obviously see the TV view of the game. I was just wondering if the midfield was running just the one way for the Gold Coast. His answer was a very big no, Timmy. We get all the <laughs> angles <laughs> and uh, yeah. they work very hard. So um, you obviously see that footage as well. So they, they are a two-way working midfield. Oh, absolutely. I think they just went, because they're winning it so much, it just always mm. looked like they were going to, towards their goals. But Miller, if you watch, if you isolated Miller at, um, with his behind the goals with um, Vision and just watched him work, his, his work weight forward and back is just absolutely elite. There was a few stoppages that, that Richmond won and, you know, he just got there 10 metres before the next um, Richmond midfielder as well. Um, so, look, we've, they've certainly, they've been adding that to their game anyway over the, probably the last 18 months to two years. Um, and there's no doubt with, with Timmer coming in, they've probably um, improved that area slightly. Um, last year, you guys were the number one scoring team. That's still the goal? Um, well, we don't set out for goals. We, I guess when you're looking at where you want to be, you want to be top four offence and top four defence. So that's, you know, we were middle of the road last year in defence. You know, I think we are eight or ninth. So we're certainly very solid and... Um, you know, I think when we get enough supply forward, we are dangerous. But I, I said this before, I think the inclusion of the three boys together off the half-back line in Miller, Hinge and Smith really um, helped us go direct and pretty quick at times back uh, at opposition. Um, and we, we're a team that we, we want to work hard in defence. And once we get the ball in hand, we uh, we believe we've got um, you know two or three ways that we can inflict and hurt opposition on the way back. So um, I wouldn't say no, it's not a goal, but we certainly want to be top four in both. Great. I just reckon if you bring the heat for four quarters and that intensity, I can just see you coming away with the win. Let's hope it is like that because I think both have enough talent, elite talent at it. Um, what are the conditions like, Burnsy? Is it going to be sticky tomorrow, wet, raining? or? Yeah, it's been a bit of everything up here today. It's been a real mixed bag. It's, it's You know, the sun comes out there for 45 minutes and it feels quite warm and then there's been some strong wind and a bit of drizzle at times. Um, some of the locals up here, they'll expect it to... 
by the time we kick off, um, there will generally be a bit of a dew, and um, and if it's not dew, the the boys will be sweating um, quite solidly too. So you've always got the sweat on your arms and on your jumper, which makes it a little bit slippery at times if you're not clean first take. So it's it's definitely be there. We we should be able to move the ball okay at times, but there there might be stages in the game where we um, probably don't need to mess around with it too much and just um, get it forward and. and win from contest to contest. Just a word or two on Sam Berry. Overlooked last year. He's had a massive pre-season. I love what I saw with his disposal in the you know those trial games. He's, he's, he's worked his way in, Burnsy. Yeah, he has. And look, the year before, though, in, in 22, he was he was one of the leading tacklers in the comp too. So he yeah. certainly, you know, he's aggressive. He's, he's got effort. Um, and, uh, you know, the boys, you know, with Crouchy coming back in, it made it a little bit harder for him to... To, to get an opportunity last year, but he, he's been one of our, our better trainers over the preseason. Um, he's got a few tricks to him too. He's, he's not just a tackler; like he's he can certainly jump. He, he can he go forward if he needed to, and he can certainly take some of those marks. You know, when those long mm-hmm. down the line kicks you get between the the or around the midfield anyway, where you get Crips and those other boys that can take marks. He's certainly a midfielder that's capable of doing that too. So um, yeah, we wrapped his in because he's he's certainly uh, a player that his, his teammates love playing with. Well, excitement ahead. A big W over there would be fantastic for round one. Scotty, thanks for your time. No worries. Thanks, lads. See you, well Scotty Burns, there's uh, the quiet confidence there. Yeah, like so, it. Well, well, what did I say in the opener? Well, I think if Gallant, Rankin and um, Fogg can kick 12 between them, that'll set up the win. You didn't say it in the opening of the week. I'll tell you right no, now. Oh, no. That top lip's back in its position. Good. Good the news. dummies well and truly gone. <laughs> Good. The, the toys are back in the car. The blue sky's back. And there is blue skies there. <laughs> Looking forward to Treaders joining us after five o'clock. They've had their first board meeting today. So that'll oh. be interesting if he's got anything to share with us. Eight double two three double O double O call in if you want to ask Treaders anything you like. We've got a Rust and Black Guts for our best caller of the night. It's the news time now. Rowie and Timmy G on the five double A sports show. The M event is coming to Mazda's home in the hills, Mount Barker Mazda. From March 10 to 17, enjoy up to 2K off a wide range of 2023 plated Mazda models with a $1,000 cashback and $2,000 minimum trade-in on offer. We won't be beaten on price. For T's and C's, head to mountbarkermazda.com.au. For M event savings, take the road less travelled to Mount Barker Mazda. Mount Barker Road, Totnes, LMVD 325189. Hi, it's Peter and Justin Berkowitz from Berkowitz Furniture. Justin, I'm announcing our exceptional sale. What's exceptional about it? Customers save 25% on exceptional Norwegian brands like Stressless and IMG and Australian brands which they can customise to their own exceptional taste. They'll save 25% across the store. Is there anything that's not on sale? Nope, no exceptions. That's exceptional. For a few days only at Berkowitz. The Furniture Family. Marland Homemaker Centre. I reckon your favourite mate's a mate with a, with a bus, a van, a truck, a ute. Used to be a trailer. Yeah, but now yeah it's back bus, in the old van, days, you're right. Um, and they rarely have all three. Uh, and I can promise five-star service. Well, they can't, but mm. Avis can. Avis Truck Rental Adelaide is your best mate. How good's that? Now, they've been SA's go-to vehicle rental company for decades, helping work go smooth and holidays go ahead. So whether you need a bigger set of wheels or to get the job done or just to get away, they've got you covered. Well, they have. And a lot of people think Avis is this big blue chip brand. It is. Mm. This is family owned. Mm. This is a local South Australian family. They are just rippers. I think they've owned it for a a number of years out there on Port Road. Um, 416 Port Road, as a matter of fact. West Highmarsh, as a matter of fact. Um, With their fleet of vans, buses, utes, trucks. You can drive them with a car licence. Yep. My little Gemma's done, done that. 22-seater. Yep. Done a school excursion with it. Mm-hmm. Kids out the back. Happy days. Um, they're sure to help. If you've got a problem, turn it into not having a problem by ringing Avis. Correct. Avis Truck Rental Adelaide. Open seven days at 416 Port Road. 416 Port Road. West High Marsh. I'll drive past it tonight. Book online at avis.com.au or call 8241 5200. There are electrical safety recalls on solar home batteries, branded LG, LG Chem, and inside some Solax products. Affected batteries may overheat and catch fire, resulting in injury, death, or damage to property. Incidents have occurred and caused damage to property. Even if you have checked before, please check again by visiting lghomebattery.com.au or by calling 1300 677 273. That's 1300 677 273. 
the very latest news and information. This is 5AA News, always Adelaide. Partly cloudy tonight, down to 19, a possible shower tomorrow, 31. With the 5 o'clock news, I'm Mel Usher. Agostino Mitsubishi's Good To Go giveaway is on now. Receive a bonus $1,000 fuel card on 2023 Build Outlander. A southern suburb schoolgirl has been arrested on terrorism charges. The 14-year-old is accused of possessing extremist material and explosive instructions. She fronted court today and has been bailed ahead of another appearance next month. A woman who allegedly murdered her ex-wife before setting her Aldinga Beach house on fire remains in custody as she fights for home detention bail. Prosecutors will seek a Supreme Court review, which won't be heard till Monday at the earliest. 29-year-old Anastasia Marshall denies killing her ex-partner Crystal. A 48-year-old man who is living at the house has also been charged. A warehouse fire produced a large amount of black smoke across Adelaide's northwest earlier this afternoon. Sophie Clark from the MFS has more. Just before 3pm earlier this afternoon, the MFS responded to a scrap metal fire on South Terrace at Wingfield. 30 firefighters from 12 appliances and two command vehicles arrived to find black smoke issuing vertically from the premises. Firefighters worked to control the fire in approximately 30 minutes. Firefighters remain on scene. SA has recorded its second meningococcal case in as many days. A 15-year-old male from the metro area is in hospital in a stable condition. It's case number six in the state so far this year. Average pay for aged care workers will rise by as much as $32 an hour following a decision by the Fair Work Commission. The Commission has agreed to lift the pay for personal carers and home care staff. It's on top of the 15% aged care workers received last year. Unions have welcomed the move but say more needs to be done to lift the wages of support staff like kitchen hands. Australia will restore $6 million in funding to a key UN aid agency, but the opposition says it's a mistake. Michael Packey reports from Canberra. In late January, several countries, including Australia, paused funding to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, known as UNRWA. It follows allegations at least 12 of its staff were involved in the October 7 terrorist attacks against Israel. Foreign Minister Penny Wong believes the UN has taken steps to address the situation and has decided to restore Australia's funding to the aid agency. We have children and families who are starving. The opposition's Simon Birmingham says the government has made the wrong call, given the UN is yet to release the findings of its investigation. We do not support the Albanese government in acting without and ahead of the United States. So far, Australia's total support for Gaza sits at $52 million. Australian researchers are looking into the possibility of snakes as a climate-friendly food source, but it's unlikely the cuisine would make it down under. A team at Macquarie University has discovered that pythons grow very quickly and have a small environmental footprint because they are easily farmed. Herpetologist Dan Natouche says the meat especially suits drought-affected areas like southern Africa. Most of the species in Australia wouldn't be suited for purpose anyway because most of the animals are, are quite small, like the pygmy python, the world's smallest python, so there's no way people are going to start eating that anytime soon. Now turning to 5AA Sport. The exceptional sale is on at Berkowitz. Save 25 to 50% off all Berkowitz furniture. End soon. Esava Radigalia, Ivan Soldo and Brandon Zerk Thatcher will make their first AFL appearance in Port Adelaide Colours on Sunday. The club has trimmed their squad in preparation for the Eagles at Adelaide Oval. Assistant coach Luke Kelly has told Rowie and Timmy G there's plenty of anticipation. We had a good build through the early part of the week. I had the day off yesterday and the boys bounced in this morning and we were at a very good level of intensity today knowing for what's coming on Sunday. The Crows are on the Gold Coast. They open their 2024 campaign against the Suns tomorrow. Tonight, it's Collingwood v Sydney at the MCG and the game will be live on 5AA. Adelaide United are in action tonight. They're taking on the Jets in Newcastle. Australian basketballer Ben Simmons has undergone back surgery for the second time in three years. It's hoped it will alleviate a pinched nerve in his lower back. And the Ironman and Women's Series continues on the Gold Coast this weekend. 
Now checking 5AA traffic. Electrical issues? Ken Hall Plumbers also provide electrical services. For reliable electrical services, give Ken a call. G'day there at Kent Town. A breakdown on Flinders Street near Decatable Terrace blocking the intersection. At Seaford Meadows, a crash. Commercial Road near Seaford Road. Woodville North, a crash there. Torrens Road near Hanson Road. And got Fringe Road closures kicking off now around the Brundle Street area. Look out for that on the way home. And in the East Park Lanes, Wakefield Road is closed between Decatable Terrace and East Terrace for the Adelaide Motor Sport Festival. Freedom's ultimate sofa sale weekend is on now. Get 25% off all sofas, plus get 50 months interest-free store-wide. Conditions apply only at Freedom. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. Now the 5AA forecast. Get the Toyota forklift advantage. Visit toyotamaterialhandling.com.au. Down to 19 tonight, partly cloudy. A possible shower tomorrow, 31. Sunday, a shower or two easing, 31. Monday, partly cloudy, 27. Right now, it's 28 degrees. Now let's check what's happening on Nine News Tonight. I'm Brenton Ragless. Tonight, a freedom bid by the southern suburb woman accused of the love triangle murder of her ex-wife. SA's flu surge and the protection available. The moon, Mars and beyond. Elon Musk celebrates an almost flawless launch of the world's biggest rocket. And we explain the new free program cutting your prescription costs. Nine News, your news, nightly at six on nine and on nine now. Australia's leading manufacturer of wheels to the mining, civil and transport industries is Rimex. And now Rimex has a local certified workshop right here in Adelaide. Wheel repairs, testing and certification, custom wheel builds and a full range of spares and accessories. Rimex. Tire supply to the transport and civil industries, plus the Boto range of OTR tires. Rimex. Better wheels, built strong with proven performance. Rimex. Call 707 or visit rimex.com.au Hearing Australia's Hearing the Nation Tour is coming to Adelaide. Adelaide, delivering free hearing checks for adults. Search Hearing the Nation for more. Hearing Australia. Conditions apply under the Australian Government Hearing Services Program. Setting the agenda for South Australia. This is 5AA, always Adelaide. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. Welcome back at eight minutes after five. Still to come on the show, we're going to head to the MCG at six o'clock. We've got the footy coming up with Collingwood and the Swans. Terry McCall up with his tips from racing.com. And get on the phone right now, 8223-0000. We have our, for our best caller tonight, a Rusden Wines Black Gut Shiraz. And still to come, a locker room double to give away to Port Adelaide and the Eagles on Sunday. So stay listening. And we'll also give away that Benzina Sports scooter, all thanks to Steinborn Automotive, very, very shortly. But let's welcome in the great man, Warren Treadray. Treadray! 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 Warren Treadray. Thanks to Ignition for Men. Amani, Canali, Senya. Find them all at Ignition for Men, Adelaide's home of luxury menswear. 54 Paynham Road, Stepney. Yes, he's here. Warren Treadray, uh, looking very much like he's just visited Ignition for men. Yeah, Let very me tell flesh. you, very sharp. Put a jacket on. You look classy amongst you two, don't you? Oh, yeah, all true. right, all right. <laughs> we started th- early, haven't we? Don't well, go throwing the stones, Rustin mate. Yeah, yeah, he's just he's he's doing okay, the old yeah. contra for comments. He is. Yeah, yeah, he is. No, yeah. no. And you're yeah. fixing windscreens he's, again. He's cutting my lunch. You complete. Yeah. It's all above board here, yeah. mate. That's all right. right. That's good. Thanks, for Thanks Alan no, Jones. Here, here there is no cashies. <laughs> yeah, there is no cashies. Hey, mate, um, you'd be a bit tired, wouldn't you? You'd go to sleep with your shoes on the night. You've, uh, hey, um, you've had a, you've had a, your first board meeting. You've uh, had to sit in on the, because uh, you're on the subcommittee for the, the women's team yeah. as well at Port Adelaide. So you've had a long day. Yeah, I didn't realise uh, to do so much, Tim. Yeah. I was at the club at 8.30. Yeah. Um, sat through a... Uh, AFLW strategy program. So you, as a board member, you sit. I sit on both the men's and women's subcommittees, footy subcommittees. So you, that's obviously the decisions. I think I've spoken before about yeah. the men's. You look at your salary cap. You look at um, recruiting players. Give opinions. Work with coaches. List management. All that sort of stuff. You're just there for an opinion. So uh, yeah, Holly Ransom, um, who's a fellow board member, chairs the women's committee. So I sat in with them today uh, and. Grimmy and all Shane the, Grimm taken yep, over. Yeah, yep. and Chris Davies, uh, Maddie Richardson was there. Um, Lauren was uh, still on um, paternity leave, so um, wasn't there, uh, the senior coach. But, yeah, that was good, followed by a catch-up with Holly, followed by an hour to myself, then a board meeting, so it's all happening. And the board meeting, how, how long did they go? Uh, went finished at 
four, I think. Okay. So one till four, twelve thirty till four. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's great. I love good it. Good on you. No, yeah. you look like you are. Yeah, I love it. It's good fun. Um, the board meetings are very different to the footy strategy stuff. The footy yeah. strategy is the recruiting. The well, you jump up a bit. All the footy yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, when we're talking about redevelopments and budgets and yeah. commercial income and CPI, I'm like, huh? yep, yeah, <laughs> shoo, shoo, straight over the head, yeah, straight yeah. over the head. The old acronyms come out, and you yeah. don't know what's going on. Yeah, so. oh, I'm, I'm googling well half done. the time. What's that word mean, Tim? Which is <laughs> not ideal, but no, it, it's good. It's um, yeah, some good stuff happening, but uh, I do see that the round. One team has just dropped. It has. So we got to speak to Luke Kelly just at on the back of it yep. and asked him a few questions. So we sort of said, well, Boak played himself onto the wing yep. just through the trial form. He said, yep, tick, that's what's happened there. Uh, Burgers, he said, look, yeah, he's, he's been squeezed out, but we know that Stiff. he'll be able to come back. Well, Long right year. out. So he's not even a uh, sub. Well, he's an emergency, isn't which he? Which I was, I was picked my side last you night, did. Rowie, and I picked him as the wrong. sub, but I got, <laughs> I've got more than that wrong. Um, but, yeah, so he, he's out. Um, I tried to get the sub out of him, and he said, well, no, that'll be held right until the last hour Good. before the game, uh, which is fair enough. But I've got uh, – it's now Farrell, Finlayson, Drew – Evans, Mead, that are on that interchange bench. One yep. has to be the sub. I'm I'm having a, a guess and probably bet against it if uh, you want to, but uh, Francis Evans is the one I think will be sub. I just think Mead, he's played himself in. Yeah, I think this is the bit. I don't mind this thinking from the AFL. Why? Because how many times did we see, oh, last year, Francis Evans, best player in the showdown, gets dropped. Yep. I know what I do. I threw my toys out of the car. What's bloody happening in Port Adelaide? What are mm. you doing? He's their best player. Oh, he's playing sub. So now we're not dropping. Mm. So that's going to be named an hour before. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Burgoyne's stiff. Williams, I think, has been pretty good stiff. But that's just the fact of no injuries. Sweetie says to me they've not, they're have not. they only playing the one ruck. Okay. That's obvious, isn't it? So Finn Lason comes into that team. He's probably in the situation where he's going, well, who are we going to ruck? We're going to ruck Charlie? Yeah, that works short term. But... You're also putting him at undue risk with Lord now out, so you don't want him to get banged up because then all of a sudden you've got mm. two forwards down. Marshall starts forward. They then have the option to be Finlayson, and ruck forward, use the bench, and he can be versatile and play in defence. So that, that's, you know, the reality yeah. is he probably finds himself in the team off the back of Lord being injured because Lord would have played round one Correct. had he not hurt his knee. He really has to take this opportunity again, doesn't Absolutely. he? Absolutely. Yeah, his first half of last year was, I was exceptional. Just about to say, he did it. Very well last yeah. year. And I don't want to... We know what his best is. Absolutely. Yeah. And the other bit too is he's dealing with a lot personally. The mm. challenges facing the family and he, his wife. So you just hope from the best point of view. I know for a fact, obviously, by being inside the walls, there's a lot of support around him. They want him to play his best. At his best, he's a 5-6 goal. Can pick a ba kick a bag for you. Yeah. And this West Coast guide a game is the game that you'd expect to... Try he's going to get, get some, get some opportunities. Mm. He He's really elusive in the ruck. Cause he, he is. He's one of those blokes who goes in the ruck and just makes it up. It's a smart and for player. an opposition ruckman, they want someone who's going to jump in Run and out. be consistent. Mm. So I, I like this, and, and I want to highlight it again. I sound like a, a broken record. And yes, I played with his dad, and he's a mate. But I'm so happy for Meaty. Well, he's mm. had a phenomenal preseason. He's done it on the back mm. of performance. Yeah, and, the, the, and this is the thing to me. The old Maggie days or Port days, and it was always, oh, I've seen your players there. If you bash the door down, and mm. that's all, there's probably not a spot for him there. You look at how many inside mids, but the fact that now if you play one, you've got an extra runner on the bench. He's proven in the preseason he can play multiple roles, mainly centre square, but he can play wing. Let's say not many play genuine wing anymore. No. Um, he can play half forward, push into stoppage. He uses the ball really well. Two-sided. Yeah, and he's a yeah. good decision maker. Mm. And I'm wrapped that, you know what, many great careers start off the back of really starved of opportunity. So you have to bash the door down, and that's a sign of a good squad. Yeah, so you that. look at where Port's best team sits right now, they're lured away from potentially their best team. Who else is there right now? Oh, I've got Georgie Addison there. Georgie yeah, Addison. but he hasn't mm. knocked the door down yet on form either. Probably not. No, but he, he is that, he's part of that conversation. And SPP? We say he, SPP's on yeah, well, yeah, sorry, yeah, he's the obvious one. Yeah. He's yeah. the obvious one that's hey. not. But So there are only two off there, yeah, arguably which is good. their best um, I say 22, what, 28 want... we allowed to play now? Yeah, I keep yeah, forgetting. But How many would, subs? Nine? But, but as you would want to be round one. Well, you want you to be would. healthy, But this you? time last yeah. year, Ollie was playing with hardly any preseason. Yeah. You had Scotty Lysett, father time was catching up with him. 
trying to be in the you know in the mm. ruck that had no genuine successor in that space. Lear had it back. You had yeah, three or four. There's a lot of blokes who carried injury. Yeah. So you look at it from this perspective in the off season, you've highlighted your deficiencies. So you've gone and got defence. You've gone and got ruck you needed. You're hoping your forwards are back and going to get a decent run out with Marshall and Dixon and the yeah. like. Um, and now you're next to no injuries. One injury and one suspension. Like I said, that jigsaw puzzle's finished. It is. Now, I know players and coaches won't think it or say it, but we can. It's port by plenty. Port well, by plenty. On form, it, it should yeah. be. Yeah. But it's okay to talk like that. I mean, no, they won't, but we will. They... they they cannot hold a candle to you at home. Yeah, probably the positivity, and I was speaking to Luke Kelly about that. The one good thing about it, because you think it's that sort of complacency talk that you worry about, but they haven't had a game for points. They're the last game in the whole... And it's yeah. round one. Opening yeah. round V, round one. They've been looking at all this, champing at the bit to go. I think it'll, it'll actually help yeah. with that hunger yeah, to I, get out there and start well. No I agree. And the thing that excites me about this... And I'm big from a board governance point of view. Let's get the messaging right. And I haven't heard any, we want to win the premiership no, stuff. No, but you know what? I agree. I want to win the premiership. Yeah, Poor fans be. want to win the premiership. But mm. there's just, hey, we need to keep improving. We need to get better. Yeah, We've done the work. Right. I like yeah. that thinking. I'm a bit old school with that. Choco was saying, you know what? We're going to bring our best. But it mm. doesn't matter if we don't crack in for 100 yeah. minutes. You know what I mean? So I get the talking it up stuff. And that's left for other people. But I've actually loved the trying to be incremental improvement. Because we've seen, like, mm. look at Carlton last year where they 1-7, yeah. and 2-7, seven, and seven, and then went mm. on a massive run, played great footy. Collingwood are always 0-2, and two, aren't they? So early in the season. Um, so you're, you're in a situation where you're, you're looking at yeah. the teams and go, well, you know, Richmond are 0-2. Yeah. Yeah. Collingwood haven't lost hey, yet. Sorry, no, that was... Hey, were they, were they They've last, lost one. Lost one, yeah. sorry. Yeah, but um, Richmond are that. We'll have them coming down our throats any minute. <laughs> this is a really good text. We know the answer. You guys yeah. can say it. We get calls up, 822-3000. You need home-style food text. Boys, if round one is a zero round, does Sam Power Pepper, Power Pepper have to wait five weeks instead oh. of four? Well, he's banned for four S matches. So, so it's yeah. four <laughs> ports matches. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So it might so be six Port, rounds, isn't it? Because well, he missed the pre-season game. No, but I, I see where <laughs> yeah, he's June is coming yeah, yeah, yeah. from. Lots We've of had weeks. zero round. Yeah. Now it's round one, round two, round three. He should be able to play round four. It's a very but he's got to miss uh, four of your matches. It's a very yeah. clever yeah. cheat. So technically it it's six because he's didn't play in the pre-season right. game as well. That's right. Hello, Ray Lane. Oh, hello. How are you guys? Excellent, Ray Lane. You've got Treaders here, mate. Fire away. Hi, oh, how are you? Oh, um, hi, Treaders. Um, I was just... Um, Port Power like crazy, and I went to the the game the other day, trial game I call it, <laughs> um, and Dixon looked like he couldn't run out of his own shadow, and then you're talking about him going in um, this weekend and possibly doing ruck. I mean, I, I can't get my head around the thinking. Yeah, I missed half of that because my audio is playing up. Yeah, um, but he, he won't ruck, Raylene. No, he won't ruck. He won't ruck. He won't ruck. Oh, he because of the Dixon's reasons you've team, just Raylene, said. So well, yeah. well, I think the Raylene wouldn't have had him in. No, well, I think if, to be fair, Raylene, I, I, I was agreeing with you. I think it was a genuine toss-up between he and Lord because no one had dominated the preseason, but Lord is now injured. So yeah. that decision has sort of been made. And um, you got to, and it's easy to say from the outside, yeah, father time's catching up. But he's got a role to play. And, and like Travis spoke, I'm not sure that role's going to be every week. That's going to be dictated to mm. on their body and dictated to on their form and also who else around them is going better. And I liken it to my era, and I'm not sure. I haven't had the chat with Ken Hinckley or the coaches. If there is a younger player going similar than a senior player, then I think the younger player will get the go. Okay. So there's no guarantees for either of it. And I do understand that. You know, at times when he played against Alex Pierce the other you night... You all disagree with that. I reckon they'll make that decision once you've won a flag. You guys did that after you won a flag. You're not going to do it while you're pressing no, no, We did one. that all through our journey. You if there were young players okay. who were knocking the door down and, and as a similar form as someone in the team, they would go younger. Choco was mm. massive on that. Okay. But the bit the other day, that which I was critical of, into a breeze... Charlie was called out three or four times, particularly in the first half. His second half was a lot better. Mm. His first half against Alex Pierce, he got out outmarked. Tuggers, you were there three or four mm. times. Yeah. I thought positioning was poor. You can get that wrong time to time, but also too, you're playing up against a really good defender, one of the best lockdown defenders mm. in the comp in a preseason game. So, I would suspect that 
as long as he's pulling up okay. And I watched today's training session. I thought he moved pretty well. Mm. But I wasn't intrinsically going, this is Charlie Dixon. I'm on, you know, on, uh, had the crosshairs on him the whole time going, how is he moving? If he's picked to play, he's fit. So yeah. for me, he is, if he's fit, he's probably Port's still Port's best forward with Marshall. Mm. But the challenge has been his body the last few years. Mm. Treaders, uh, we're going to have a break, but when we come back, I want to ask you what you think of four goal umpires. Mm. All right? Just Burning. have a think about Can't that. Can't give you the answer now? No. 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 Now. Hold. Hold. Footy Hold. talk back, 8223 double You've got Treaders here in the studio. Ask them anything you like. We'll get to them next. Let's check your traffic. Amani, Canali, Zenia. Find them all at Ignition for Men, Adelaide's home of luxury menswear. 54 Paynham Road, Stephanie. At Kent Town, look out for a breakdown. If you look at near to Kettleville Terrace, blocking the intersection there. Fringe closes have kicked off in and around Rundle Street, so beware of that, Pasado. Out of the East Parklands, Wakefield Road is closed between Kettleville Terrace and East Terrace. It's still Monday for the Adelaide Motorsport Festival. Getting busy, South. South Road, Thibbertson, with a camera port weight full road at Bolivar. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day at local sellers. Guinness or Kilkenny, 440ml cans, six-pack. Any two for $50 until March 26. Drink responsibly. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. The 5AA Sports Show with Rowie and Timmy G. When you're a market-leading builder, like Regent Homes, you never rest on your laurels. It's why Regent Homes is South Australia's only builder offering 3D virtual reality technology in their Envision Design Studio. At your first design meeting, you'll walk through your home in virtual reality. It's a wow moment, enriching your experience so you can make the right design choices from the start. Regent Homes, innovative design, elevated living. Visit regenthomes.com.au. Oh, when was the last time we just ditched the weekend chores and had some fun? At Sip and Save, we believe the time is now. Buy a Han Super Dry 3.5 30-pack for $55.99 and enter at sipandsave.com.au for your chance to win a super weekender trip for you and three friends. We've also got Cooper's Pale Ale 24-pack for $57.99 and Sky Vodka 700ml for $42.99. You can expect more from Sip and Save. More deals, more range, more service. Terms and conditions apply. Prices may vary in country areas. Sip and Save. It's more in store. Now, how did you dress in business or at special occasions actually speaks volumes about who you are and where you're going in the world. So don't dress where you mm. think you are now. Do dress, dress for down. where you want to be. Don't dress down. Exactly. Dress and that's up. why Ignition for Men is Adelaide's home of luxury wow. menswear and they offer impeccable range of suits by leading Italian brands. Right, now, these are unparalleled quality go. style like Armani, Canali, mm -hmm. oh, Xenia oh. and more. I'm telling you, and they're exclusive to Ignition for Men. I love this mob. From sophisticated everyday office suits mm. by Gibson and Joe, black to dinner dress attire. It's Joe Black. Wedding and what? Yeah, so it's Gibson and Joe Black. <laughs> <laughs> what? So it's Gibson and Joe Black. Joe Black plays guitar in the movies, doesn't he? <laughs> That's Jack Black. It's Jack Black. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, okay. And he's no relation right. to Simon Black. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It plays inside mid. Yeah, yeah okay. Now, the range, style and service and ignition for men is tailored to make you look, you look feel your best. And I need that. And well, People they... like me that are a little bit frumpy, they're not good looking. A little bit. Even ignition for men <laughs> can help us. No, they can... Even ignition oh, for men. Please. And they can even fit you out in the latest <laughs> casual wear from brands like EA7, Replay, Hugo Boss, Carl Lagerfield, and more. Now jump online and take a look at ignitionformen.com.au or call into the store like we did. 54 Paynham Road, Stepney. They are Adelaide's home of luxury menswear. Yeah, I've met Joe Black. I don't know how I got that wrong. But how this is written, Gibson and Joe... <sighs> It's black to dinner dress attire. It is definitely Joe Black. Mm. Joe Black. Joe Black. Mm. Mm. Okay. Steinbonner Automotive has always been well worth the trip. And now there's Barossa Mazda. Murray Street, Nuriutpa. SA's newest Mazda dealership is now open. For 40 years, Steinbonner has provided South Australians with outstanding customer service, exceptional value, and a large selection of new, used, and demo vehicles. The Steinbonner story continues with the opening of their new, state-of-the-art Mazda dealership in Barossa Valley. Barossa Mazda. It's well worth the trip. BarossaMazda.com.au Doing your bit for our planet is easy. Drink Flurio Milk, now available in a glass bottle. No plastic, no waste. Flurio Milk Company is proud to bring back milk in a glass bottle. It's easy. Look for milk refill stations in your supermarket, 
Purchase your own glass bottle, fill it with amazing Flurio milk, take it home, drink it, wash it and bring it back to use again. No plastic, no waste. Visit fluriomilkco.com.au for locations. Hearing Australia's Hearing the Nation Tour is coming to Adelaide, delivering free hearing checks for adults. Search Hearing the Nation for more. Hearing Australia. Conditions apply under the Australian Government Hearing Services Program. The wait is finally over for Crows fans. Here they come! Round one is here. He likes it. Two and 30 seconds. Game on. 2024 carries great expectations, but the first challenge is not going to be easy. The patience pays off. Tomorrow night on 5AA, the Crows are on the Gold Coast to take on Hardwick's Suns. Absolutely superb! AFL Live on 5AA, always Adelaide. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. 26 after 5, very, very soon we'll be giving away the Benzina Scooter. Yeah, all good. thanks to Steinborner Automotive. That is going to be a great prize very soon. Still got those Port Adelaide tickets to give away the locker room shortly. But Treaders is here right now taking your calls. 8223 So I just Googled Joe Black. And yes. The reason I didn't know that brand, mm. and I do apologise, thanks to Ignition for Men, it's Slim Fit. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to go. What are you saying? You told me you're going to get into well, that. What well, I don't when, get, understand. even when I was at my fittest, I never fit slim oh, fit. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm big boned. Style. It's okay. all about style. Hello, Luke from Lights View. Gents, how are you going? Good, Luke. Good question. So we've had five games of footy, and we've had three ACLs. Oh. Has the season started too early and the grounds too hard? There is a stat between the first two trial games and round three. It's a massive amount, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's over 50% of ACLs happened in that period. Yeah, the other thing, Luke... Because it's an adjustment. Is they pre- good pick up, They Luke. prepare That's the good grounds pick-up. that well. It's all about TV, of course. Mm. Yeah. But they prepare them that well. When's the last time you saw a muddy track? No, never. never. Right. They're always I, up and about and yeah. firm. And that uh, probably is one of the issues. What well, do you good think? Call, Luke. Oh, I'm not. I don't have the answer on that. I don't... It's a stat. Well, to, it's a stat, and to, if it's a trend... But to fit yeah. the numbers Is in. it a trend in pre-seasons every year? Yeah. That's what I'd like yeah, want to know. Is. To fit it the is. numbers in, they're going to have to keep uh, going earlier and that earlier. Yeah, because well, your juice. grand final's governed by the last weekend in September. Got it. Let's go to Robert Heathfield. G'day, Rob. Hey, boys. How we going? Good. What do you Good, reckon? Rob. I reckon uh, when you had Laura Kane on uh, a little bit earlier yes. in the year, she was talking about, uh, you know, uh, Goalpost technology yep. and that they're trialling it. They just need to pull the bloody trigger on it and get yeah, it done, don't they? Yeah, I agree. Give us something. Yeah, because yeah, let's yeah, face it. it, we still don't have the super slow mo cameras, and I get it's different in cricket. We're all cricket lovers, and you sit there and look at it and go, "We're using a, a camera in the space of a meter and a half by a meter and a half or something." Go goal line cameras, you need bigger, but. I think for the game we've got, the technology needs to improve, and well, it needs to. It needed to improve. Six years ago. Of course it did. And, and and there's got to be more of a will. I nearly said it to Laura Camp. It was our first invite. Yeah. And she's been a little bit evasive because, you know, I'm a bit prickly, I guess. You know? I, oh, I know. thought her interview the other night she did she's with, good. on uh, Classified. But, but, she was brilliant. Yeah, she's she's outstanding. So very, It appears very they're going to look at, they're gonna look at we're, everything. We're in great And hands. you have to do that. Yeah, but I wanted to say this to her, but I thought better. I wanted to say, Laura Kane. If Keys was Dacos and Crows were Collingwood and would that had happened technology? and they missed the night, would we have the technology now? Oh, that's what I wanted to say. And I'd probably want an answer. When can we have it by? Yeah. Hello, Bob. Hello. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, Rob. Good, good. Um, yeah, I, I'm a little bit anti-technology. I, I think mm-hmm. umpires were a huge part of the game when I used to go and mm. you enjoyed their mistakes, you know, you flogged them and... <laughs> That was all the joy of going and getting a beer, and I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed their mistakes, and I thought it was part of the game. Um, Not now. A bit bo- well, funny, Rob, yeah. you say that. Cause you'll, I get, thought, you'll get cancelled, Rob. I've actually thought the same about tennis, where John yeah. McEnroe, he would have uh, no argument now. No. Yeah. Yeah, sure, it's too much. You yeah, get, I love mm. the mistake umpires. But yeah. if you've got to go with technology, go, go NASA, mate. I mean, they can block yeah. a tourist on the toilet. Go all the way. Exactly. Hang on, Rob, what can they do? What can they do? 
What can they do? They can get a tourist on a toilet. I love it. Well, <laughs> well played, Rob. Great call, mate. <laughs> love that. He's in the running <laughs> for the scooter. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. And the rest black guts. Very late if, entry. If I was on the hill at Albert and watching the footy with Rob, I reckon I'd have a good day. No, it's good. There's no right. hills left. I was down there today. Yeah. All been redeveloped. They have. Let's go to Margaret. G'day, hey, Margaret. Mark. Is it Margaret or Marguerite you want? Oh, Marguerite. Oh, same, same. Oh. Same, right. same. My apologies. Apparently yeah, not. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. I just, um, uh, you you better have to bear with me because I'm 95 year old. Oh, so yeah, last yeah, night I, I was at football I and uh, I thought, uh, really, you have to thank uh, the, the coach of uh, Carlton, have to thank the... Uh, the, the Umpires. The umpire. Yes. For winning the game, not, not his players. Ooh. His players didn't do it. It's the umpire who gave it a goal. And oh, that's wow. where it's finished. Yeah. You've been this controversial all your 95 years, have uh -huh. you? I'm 95, yes, and my birthday was a few days ago, and I'm invited to, to the government house to see, <gasps> to have a... To have a, not a beer, but champagne. Oh, oh yes. yes. Marguerite, I'd love to see yeah. you on that benzene scooter, just yeah. fanging it to Government House. How good would that be? <laughs> that would be lovely. I think you'd rather a call in every week with her take. Yeah. So, if it's so as Mar strong as that, well, yeah. every week, yeah. call in. Marguerite, <laughs> are, are you French or Italian? Yeah, I'm, I'm half French type of thing, yeah. yeah. And who's your team? Mm. Yeah. Who do you My team for? is really, really, uh, I don't know if you've... Probably you'll be against it, type of thing. It's the power. Oh, oh that's yeah. good. Oh. Yeah, we like you even more. Call Gee, in we, next we week. Just, we just ran out of time. <laughs> no, Marguerite. we didn't. Got plenty of time. We're dropping the ads. Call in any time. Thanks for Thank call. Thank you, Marguerite. How sprightly was that as a 95 year old? How good. She's going to have hey. champagne at Government House. Hey, she she they'll argue all cloth. three of us don't function as better, as good mm. as that. She cut from white cloth, bagged the umpires. Yeah. Well played. <laughs> that's good. All right, Treaders, thank you very much for coming in. Gee, that no worries. Quick. Really appreciate it. Did go quick, uh, but that's when you're having fun. There's only one place to visit for the finest suits in Adelaide, Ignition for Men, offering the unparalleled quality and style of Armani, Canali, Xenia and more. Where's Joe Black? Ignition for Men. Where's Joe Black? Joe He's Black as well. Okay. And 54 Jack next to Jack. Paynham Road. <laughs> <Stepney. happened> there? <laughs> hey, right. Treaders, well done. Thank done. you, Treaders. See you Monday. 2826. Stay on the line because after this, we are going to be giving away the Benzina Sports Scooter worth $8,500 thanks to Steinborner Automotive. The 5AA Sports Show. Rowie and Timmy G. This is 5AA News, always Adelaide. Good evening, Mel Usher with the latest news headlines. A high schooler from the southern suburbs has front a court on terror offences after being allegedly found in possession of explosive instructions and extremist material. The state government has unveiled a support package for refugees fleeing to SA from conflicts in Gaza and Ukraine. Australia will restore funding to the UN aid agency helping displace people and in sport, Port have locked in three debutants for the Round 1 clash on Sunday. Esalva Rattigalia, Ivan Soldo and Brandon Zerk Thatcher. Now, checking 5AA traffic. Electrical issues? Ken Hall Plumbers also provide electrical services. For reliable electrical services, give Ken a call. Good afternoon. Busy in a few spots of the drive home today. Fullerton Road in the Parklands. Cross Road at the Fullerton Road intersection quite busy. Also got some road closures for the Fringe around Rundle Street and in the East Parklands. Wakefield Road is closed between Kettlewood Terrace and East Terrace. And still Monday for the Adelaide Motorsport Festival. Got a camera to Main Road at Wollonga. It's the final weekend to shop the Amart Lounge Sale. Get 20 to 50 percent of all lounges, sofas, and recliners with over 2,000 designs to choose from. Hurry and Sunday at Amart. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. The 5AA forecast: partly cloudy tonight, down to 19. A possible shower tomorrow, 31. Right now, it's 28 degrees. We'll have more news at six, and as it happens, on 5AA. David Penberthy and Will Goodings, 5AA Breakfast. Food prices at Adelaide Oval. We've got the official data that's uh, been released. There's been some speculation in the last couple of days. Everything's going up. Yes, we know inflation's high, and yes, we know that these prices are still marginally cheaper than you'd pay at other grounds around the land. Adelaide's leading breakfast show. It's still so crazily expensive. It is super How, expensive. What about Australia? How did Australia get this expensive? Weekdays from 6am on 5AA. Always Adelaide. 
We're with Bronte Manuel from Toop and Toop Real Estate. Now, Bronte, I'm guessing the emergence of the internet flipped the property industry on its head. Before the internet, buyers used to view properties from a range of areas. Now they type in a specific suburb in their devices and the surrounding areas are practically invisible. So when selling then, what's the trick to making sure as many people as possible know about your home? At Toop and Toop, we have a very effective way of geo-targeting buyers, making sure the West Beach buyer knows about a suitable home in Fulham Gardens and the Medindi buyer is alerted to a home in prospect. You're sounding very technical, Bronte. So why doesn't everyone do this? For 32 years, we've spent endless amounts of money on research and development. That's why we keep delivering record results for our clients year on year. Thank you, Bronte. Great insights as always. To find out more, go to toop.com.au. Due to thermal expansion, the Eiffel Tower can grow 15 centimetres taller in summer. You can harness the power of the sun too this summer with a 200-watt solar mat from Aldi for $229. Portable, easy to use and ideal for camping, it's special you can buy at the Aldi Camping Essential Sale this Saturday. Range differs between stores while stocks last. Aldi. Good. Different. (laughs) Whether you're catching up with friends or relaxing at home this weekend, Sip and Save has you covered. They're the best at it. And I'll tell you, there's more in store at Sip and Save with great offers to kick off the footy season. So call in to your local Sip and Save to take advantage of the top offers and many, many more. Oh, look, there's one around every street corner. No, there's They're no prolific. excuse. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Sip and Save, easy to find. Everywhere. Stock the fridge with 4X Gold 30 pack cans. How much? 51.99. Bargain. What about West End Draft 30 pack cans? How much? 56.99. Oh, wow. Do your math on that. Yeah. And everyone loves a Cooper Pale Ale, a Pacific Pale Ale, 24 mm. packs. Only fifty-seven ninety-nine. Oh, you got to get straight into a sip and save. Come on, expect more from sip and save. More deals, more range, more service. Now, there's a couple of things you can do. Head in store, yeah, do which that. I do like, or download the app. Visit sipandsave.com.au. Drinks responsibly. You land on your doorstep. If you're packing up your family to travel across the land. The land will treat you different in a Dave Benson caravan There's never any roadworks when you're driving Aussie made And you'll always find a park that's nestled safely in the shade The magpies will stop swooping, the kangaroos give way You won't see a single mosquito at the end of each perfect day And if the coppers pull you over, they won't wreck your plans When you tell them you bought Aussie made from Dave Benson caravan With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. 22 minutes to six, our last 5AA locker room double to give away to the Port Adelaide West Coast game on Sunday, so stay tuned between now and six o'clock when we go to the footy at the MCG. Terry McCauliffe from Racing.com very shortly as well, Timmy, but we have a big prize to give away. Well, we've been doing it for a couple of weeks now, all thanks to Steinborn Automotive. It's always worth the trip. Hyundai, Ford, Mitsubishi and Mazda across the group. Steinborner.com.au. They've got this magnificent Benzina Zero because that means no fuel. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's no. on it. Hey! Oh, he's on loose. It. He's Timmy, loose. Oh dear. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Can we give it away before he drives it through a wall? <laughs> Turn that off. We can't. We can't be breaking it before we give it away. No. But how good is that? Well, Look it's, at- it's magnificent, but it's a very, very big worry that he's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> that Rowie looks comfy, Rowie. <laughs> What's it like? Well, he's actually going. turned it on. He has turned you have it turned on. Turned it off. Yes. Oh no. Me. Ah. Okay. I'm very nervous. Oh, don't please don't run it into uh, the wall. Um, what do we do now as far well, as being able to give it away? So what we've been doing for the last two weeks is been asking our callers to get involved and and call into the show because if you go to where you go in the running for this great Benzina sports scooter. It's an electric. It goes about 90 uh, k's an hour, top speed I believe, and you can go about 90 k's as well right. uh, in distance before you have to basically recharge it. So it's yeah. a fantastic prize. Thanks to Steinborner. This Stein is the future. But mm. what we're going to do now is we are going to call one of our listeners... From the last two weeks. From the last two weeks. Okay. If they pick up, it's theirs. Oh, wow. Who speaks first? Okay. Well, we, we're going to dial this live on air. So let let's, them. let's see how we go. Yeah, don't give it away. Let them. Yeah, John speaking. Oh, g'day, John. It's uh, Rowie and Timmy G. How are you? Good, mate. I appreciate you uh, being a part of the show and calling in, which has yeah, been great. And you knew... When, when you... did you call in, John? 
Um, early la- early last week, I think. Okay. Yeah. What? What? Um, you got a set of leathers? Um, leathers. Yeah. Mm. You like wearing uh, helmets? Bike riding. You like wearing helmets? Yeah, got a helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Y- y- you like two wheels? Oh yeah, yeah. I like two wheels. You've got a push bike down the shed. Yeah, yeah I, I use it. That. What about batteries? Things you don't need any <laughs> petrol in. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. You know why we're winning, Johnny! (laughs) You're the winner, John. You are the winner of the Benzina Schooner. Thanks to Steinborn. How good's that, mate? Unbelievable, Timmy. Thanks a lot. And uh, 5AA and Stephen, yeah. Can you believe that, Johnny? You've got yourself a scooter, mate, to fang around Norwood. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting, Stephen, yeah. Do us a favour, Plenty John. of traffic around there. Yeah. Plenty of traffic around mate, there. Mate, <laughs> you will zip thanks to Steinborner and Benzina Scooters in and out that traffic now, mate. Just so when there's a roadblock, you just go whoo, on the curb right. in the middle. Yeah, John, do us a favour and get a photo. Get a photo yeah, of yourself I will. on there. I will. Well, I, might have to go, I might have to go to the back streets somewhere and get used to well, it, I think. Hey, well, that's a good idea. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll deliver it. We'll deliver it. All right. T- but you're not riding it. Johnny, I'll take you for a thing on it, mate. I'll show you everything there is about it. He's not giving me a dinky, no, mate. I'll tell good. you right now, John. Well done, good, mate. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Well, Congratulations, well mate. Done. Congratulations. Appreciate well done. Steinborner Automotive, always worth the trip. They've got Hyundai, Ford, Mitsubishi and Mazda across the group. Steinborner.com.au. How good's that? Well done. Ah, He's legends, mate. A scooter. That's great. Absolute legends. And thank you very much to Steinborner for being able to provide that prize mm-hmm. for the last two weeks for our listeners. And Amazing. all you had to do was call in. We've still got a Russell's Black Guts. We do? Yeah. Best caller. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Rowie. How are you? Yeah, you missed out on the scooter, but you can get the Black Guts. <laughs> well, I've got an electric mountain bike, so I suppose it's good as oh, gone to someone who oh, needs yeah. it. Good call. Oh, I tell you what, anything electric. Bloody flies. Yeah, don't... Con- You've been in one of those um, don't Teslas? Don't combine the two, though. Those battery-operated Teslas? I have Teslas. indeed, I have. I've uh, driven one. Or, or a Steinborn scooter? I've tried to drive one. Nought to 100. John's going to have to peel his ears back, Jeff. <laughs> hey, uh, Rowie, yeah, I'm, I, I hope, I'm not going to try and be too controversial, but uh, you were talking about goal line technology the other day, earlier. Yeah. yeah. Um, basically, until a club or a group of people takes the AFL to court on a class action, restraint of trade, things will keep going the way they go. Now, we in South Australia can complain about the Vic bias, but let's be honest, the way the AFL runs the game, it's amateurish, and it will not change. Adelaide had a chance to change it. They could have sued the AFL, but they, well, I don't even know if they even thought of doing it, but they've got six extra games this year and they've gone back in their little hole. Well, that's, no, that's the, the chairman got his hairy chest out. They got a good little fixture. I think they negotiated that, Jeff. I, I, I'm pretty sure from the information I got, it was considered. It was considered. But you don't take the big house to court. Because you know why? The big house then just whacks you around the ears for the rest of the days, don't they? Yeah, it's it's one of those things that you go... You don't do I it. Think you you ma- just don't do it. You made the point earlier in the show, had it been a another club, Perhaps a bigger club. If that was Dacos, not Keys, and it was Collingwood, not the Crows, I think we'd have, we'd have te- goal line technology. technology. Jeff, great call, mate. You might be in the running for that rust and black guts. Hello, Cole. How you going, boys? Yeah, good, Cole. That's good. Hey, look, I've got three things. They all sort of lead into each other. Yep. Earlier in the day, Rowie said something about um, oh, who who's trying to get a leg up into the um, top four and stuff. Like he was talking about Carl, obviously. You remember that? Yes, yes. Yeah, right, right. So I'm telling you, an even bigger leg up is the Gold Coast. And how does, how, I'm trying to work out, it just smells to me. Mm. How Hardwick could be on, what do they call that leave thing? That, that, Gardening that leave? Health, mental health leave or something like that. And he's up in the Maldives or, 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 or the Mediterranean. And he gets a phone call on the beach. Next minute he's, he's coaching, uh, what do you call it? The Gold Coast, Coast. of course, they're on the rise. Richmond are on the dive, Mm. right? So forget that. That's just what I reckon. You can think about whatever you want about that. No worries. But um, you had a year and a half to run, mind you. Um, Mm. But the goal thing, just if it goes through the goals, make it a goal. 
It's just it's that simple. I'll, I'll give you an NRL analogy. There's a bloke from the 60s who scored the most tries in the whole of the NRL, right? And they still can't catch him. And in them days, you could not touch the post at all, the score. You know what I mean? Yep. If you touched it, no try. Yep. Simple as that. But now, they let you touch the goalpost, and these guys are flying six foot out of the air and scoring spectacular tries. It's made the game better. Yeah. No, good call, Cole. I, I, it's a big change. I'm warming toward it. If it makes it easier. I know I'm just saying that the, the cost factor is nil, <laughs> allowing well, the ball to go through. It's, yeah, it's so just a stroke of a pen. It's not a bad uh, uh, Don't option need goal line technology there. Excellent. Let's go to Port Nolunga. Speak to Brian. G'day, Brian. How you going? Yeah, good, buddy. I was talking about class actions against the VFL. Yeah, VFL, oh, sorry. Yep, no worries. Fire away. Yeah. I think it'll be a big one. I'm drinking too many, too many beers while I'm watching the footy, and I want them to reburst me. <laughs> oh, All righty, you're being okay. silly, Brian. Yep, yep. Okay. So, <laughs> that's, that's he, a, he's making. Yeah, I know. He's making the light, concussion, making light the racing yeah, one. It, yeah. It's like you know. So. Who else is going to sue the AFL? Because yeah. they got all this money. We might as well just. But to be fair, you maybe drink too much beer because the footy was crap. Yeah, but to be fair, Brian. Does he really want to win that one? No, no, probably not. No, <laughs> no that's exactly right. <laughs> Fourteen Thanks, minutes to six. Still time for you to get in the running for that uh, bottle of Rusden Black Gut Shiraz. We'll give away for the best caller tonight before six o'clock. Terry McCall off to join us shortly. But first, let's check your roads out there. Armani, Canali, Zenia. Find them all at Ignition for Men, Adelaide's home of luxury menswear. Fifty-four Paynham Road, Stephanie. Busy in a few spots for the drive home. North Terrace at Hackney. Also a bit sluggish at the moment. Greenhill Road at Eastwood and slow going Goodwood Road as you're heading in through the parklands. Fringe closures. Kicked off around Rundle Street, Bear Road at the Savo, and in the East Parklands. Wakefield Road is closed between Kettleville Terrace and East Terrace till Monday for the Adelaide Motorsport Festival. Got a camera to White's Road at Paralawi. Dan Murphy's don't match. They beat prices. Hard rated 375 mil cans, 10 pack, $39 for my Dan's members. And Sunday, choose a drink wise, twos and C's apply. Adelaide's most accurate traffic on 5AA. Rowie and Timmy G. On the 5AA Sports Show. Tune into the 5AA Sports Show each week for Where Are They Now? The sporting names you remember from the past revisited. Thanks to Walco. Get a Walco blankie for your pool this summer and save water evaporation and money. Walco.com.au Oh, when was the last time we just ditched the weekend chores and had some fun? At Sip and Save, we believe the time is now. Buy a Han Super Dry 3.5 30-pack for $55.99 and enter at sipandsave.com.au for your chance to win a super weekender trip for you and three friends. We've also got Cooper's Pale Ale 24-pack for $57.99 and Sky Vodka 700ml for $42.99. You can expect more from Sip and Save. More deals, more range, more service. Terms and conditions apply. Prices may vary in country areas. Sip and Save. It's more in store. MG has arrived in the Adelaide. Adelaide Hills. Be a part of history as we launch Adelaide Hills MG with stock ready to go. It's the 2024 OMG sale at Adelaide Hills MG. Receive up to a $1,500 factory bonus on selected MG SUVs. T's and C's apply. See them for yourself on the road less travelled at Adelaide Hills MG. Mount Barker Road, Bridgewater, MG's new home in the hills. Head to ahmgmotors.com.au for our launch offers. LMVD 325189. Get a read on a year worth of sport with the advertiser for just $99 for the first 12 months. But hurry, this deal is for a limited time only. So get in the game and search the advertiser to subscribe. T's and C's apply, new customers only. Emergencies don't recognise business hours. They can happen at any time and need professional attention in no time. With Adelaide's only 24-hour private emergency department, Calvary Adelaide provides expert treatment at any hour on any day. You'll experience shorter wait times before receiving personalised care from experienced professionals. For emergency care 24-7, trust South Australia's newest state-of-the-art hospital. Calvary Adelaide, 120 Angus Street, Adelaide. The South Australian First Nations Voice to Parliament election is Saturday 16th March 2024. If you're a South Australian Aboriginal or Torrent Strait Islander, you are eligible to vote. 32 polling booths can be found across SA, open from 8am to 6pm this Saturday. To find your nearest polling booth and more about the candidates, visit... S can you do it again? savoiceelection.sa.gov.au.
Dot au. Thank you. Remember to have your say Saturday, March 16th. How you vote will affect the future of your lands and your community. So vote for people you want to represent you in the SA Voice to Parliament. One of the best things about South Australia is there's so much of it. Fortunately, getting a parcel from one side to the other is easy with Stateliner. Sure, Stateliner have a fleet of modern, comfortable buses, but they'll also carry freight across the state for you. Affordable rates and your parcel goes on the next available bus. From the city to Port Piri, Wyala and Port Augusta, Sejuna and Port Lincoln, the Riverland, Mount Gambier and many towns in between. Get your parcel moving quickly. Put it on the Stateliner bus. With more stores close to home and everyday low prices, great food lives at Foodland, the mighty South Aussies. Rowie and Timmy G on the 5AA Sports Show. Nine minutes to six. We're going to cross the MCG after the six o'clock news for Collingwood and Sydney on 5AA football. But right now, we want to send you to the 5AA locker room. Yes, I'm Timmy G! Hi. Port West Coast Sunday Arvo, we've got the best seats in the house for you. Get along right now, 8223-0055. Timmy will play his higher under quiz. Yeah. Line up now. Absolutely. Uh, now we're going to racing.com. Terry McAuliffe, welcome. Timmy and Terry's tips. Hey, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I was waiting. How are you, boy? <laughs> That's why you're the professional. <laughs> Hey, big announcement today as well. Yes. Sportsbet now on board um, with a massive sponsorship with Racing SA right across the uh, the state. But it was linked into the, the Morphicville race course in the South Australian Jockey Club uh, officially this morning. And with that news came the, well, the, the big news that the four Group 1s coming up here in April and May are all going to go up from half a million dollars to being worth a million dollars. So, wow. um, and that that's for the awesome. next seven years. That wow. is an amazing deal, Terry. Everybody must be congratulated, I think, uh, at the SAJC and Racing SA that's because huge. that is just an enormous uh, achievement to be able to get that. And it's it's just great for SA Racing. No, it certainly is. You're right, Tim. And, and look, um, there's been some great announcements, obviously, from the government too in recent times as well. So a big thank you to... Mr. Malinowskis and, and his government for coming on board and getting behind racing here in this state and, and now with the, the sports bet sponsorship as well. Um, you know, we've made some, you know, some giant strides in the last, let's say, six to 12 months and, and probably beyond that as well. Racing mm -hmm. SA were making some wonderful decisions as well. So, look, who knows what that means? I think we always get the, you know, the, the high quality Victorian horses coming our way for yep. the carnival, but now some of those horses that, you know, maybe think Sydney or Brisbane. And so we're looking at probably horses that um, are trained even out of Sydney and, and probably not so much Queensland, but they might start making the decision to come our way as well and, and head to our carnivals. And then look, with that, hopefully um, we might be able to get, say, a jockey like um, James McDonald, who we've never seen ride in South Australia mm, before. Wow. Wow. Hey, we've had a number of calls say, oh, can you ask Tez why the Adelaide Cup was capped at 7,000 people? Well, that's the basically that is the capacity these days okay. for um, Morphaville since they've made adjustments and and taken down that massive pavilion that used to be down at the the two hundred metre mark. So I think they actually did have a, a tick over seven thousand. So maybe it's not actually capped at seven. That was what my understanding was. That was the the big number, the golden number. So maybe I'll, I'll confirm that with Grant Mayer and the team there at Morphaville what the actual capacity is but it was certainly a wonderful turn up on well, on Monday under really trying conditions guys so Terry let's get to the yeah. real news <laughs> okay. who's going to win tomorrow at Morphville oh, it's Morphville Parks tomorrow yeah, we're on the parks track, yep. on the inner track. Look, I've made the best in race three, number five, Maricourt. Michael Hickmott's one of the finest young trainers in the state. He could be set for a big day tomorrow. He look, It looked like that could be the case last Saturday at Murray Bridge, and it didn't quite work out for him. But he's got some terrific chances right throughout the program tomorrow. And I thought that uh, the horse he's sending around in race three, number five, Maricourt, might have been the best bet on the program. Great call. Anything with a bit of value? Yeah, a bit of value. Look, in race one, I'm expecting the favourite to be really hard to beat. Pure Bliss, number 13 yeah. for Will Clark and Nicky O'Shea, and their stable's on absolute fire. But I've got to say, David Jolly trains a horse called the Pharmacist, number four. Now, John Kelton, my offsider on Racing.com, had a chat to David before one of the races at Strathalbyn on Wednesday, and he asked him about runners coming up on the weekend, and 
I just got the feeling from David Jolly, the way he was talking, this horse is going to run a really good race first up tomorrow. And it's only had the one start. It was well in the market that day and ran seventh. But Kayla Crowford arrived. The last time I checked, it was about $16. It just sort of sparked my interest a little bit, the way David Jolly was talking on Wednesday. Oh, well played there, Terry. I'm just going to throw a couple in. Race eight, number five, named after me good self, the storyteller. And See who it's trained by? <laughs> it is uh, Michael Hickman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's another one for him that's going to be really hard to beat tomorrow. Mm. It was actually supposed to run last Saturday at Murray Bridge as well, and it actually got kicked in the stalls by Maracor, mm. the horseman tipping in race three. And with that, obviously it wasn't a, a big drama, but they decided to take it out last Saturday. But it mm. is trialled really well. It's returning to racing tomorrow. And, yeah, on with you, Timmy. It's going to be very hard to beat. Yeah. So is that kicked in the stalls, rhyming slang for balls? Or is it actually <laughs> oh. in the stalls? I'll just ask yeah, you. It's Tess, a, thanks it, for that. <laughs> it, it, is a, it is a gelding. Oh. So it was actually kicked in the leg. There you go. Oh, oh, I love it. Clever. Hey, Terry, good luck tomorrow, Morphy Parks, mate. Thanks for your time. Yeah, well done. And can I just say quickly, too, Sunday, Kimber Cup Day at Port Lincoln. It'll oh, be a big brilliant. day there yes. as well. So. John Kelton and I will be there covering the action for Racing.com on Sunday too. Ah, well done. Great. Terry McCall, always a, a champion and, and has got a real good streak going with the My winners. word. Now, we've got the 5AA locker room. It's the last chance as we were all up towards 6 o'clock news. You get this right. You are going to the 5AA locker room. Paul from Highbury. Here's Timmy. G'day, Paul. Okay, the question Good. is, including finals, how many wins did Port Adelaide have last season? Oh, shit. Um, no, that's not uh, right. Uh, uh, <laughs> More than that, Paul. <laughs> oh, I'll say uh, 16. Oh. Thank you, Paul. Uh, let's go to Sam and Aldinga. Sam, the question is, including yeah. finals, how many wins did Port Adelaide have last season? We've had the guess of 16. It's higher. 17? No, no, hang on. Uh, uh, Don't do it, Sam! 19. Oh, you clown! Whoever's in the car, put him off, I reckon. Uh, Ben at Hawthorne. Uh, Was it 17? Yes, correct, Ben. Well done. Well done, Ben. Thank you, Sam. Congratulations, Ben. (laughs) Thank you, Sam. (laughs) You (laughs) Bradbury, you Ben, you big (laughs) Bradbury. Oh, sorry, mate. Well done, Ben. Who are you taking, buddy? Uh, take the misses, I think. Well Good done, man. mate. Have a great day. Uh, it, it's an absolute cracker there, the 5AA locker room. That Congratulations. is fantastic. We'll have more of them as the year goes on. It's time for us to give away our Rusden Wines Black Gut Shiraz for a footy Friday. Who'd you like, Timmy? I like Jeff at Clemsic. I a, did too. So. Yeah, had a real crack and, uh, yeah. yeah, good on him. He had, yeah, a, the... had a crack. Well done. Well done, Jeff. Congratulations. I've been still there. Well, Ben's just uh, celebrating his win to the locker room. To, I think he tried to collect the rustlers as well. <laughs> he can't have both. Well done, fellas. It's time for us to check out for the week. We're well heading done. to the MCG, Collingwood and Sydney are taking on for Friday Night Football. Have a great weekend. Crows and Port, hope your teams win. We'll see you Monday. The 5AA Sports Show with Rowie and Timmy G. I'm down here on the ground with Paddy Carrigan and Adam Reynolds from the Broncos. Boys,